That's well good, dude. If you Access granted.
Yo, here we are. Sea star. Getting right in there. How are you doing today, my dear? Are you well? I hope that you are. Um, should uh, just to thank uh, Platinum Rug for dropping a follow back in return. That's very kind of him. I'd never expect that. Um, but maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe he had a little work pop little look and was like oh yeah this guy's uh this guy's doing the same thing i'm doing so uh let's give him a little uh follow metapod how you doing buddy are you well it's um yeah based on my tie you can probably tell it's uh it's a bit cold over here at the minute i guess it's time of the year isn't it but, um how are you both doing i hope you're well I hope you're very well uh, and yeah sorry i'm a little bit late um as uh, as you know, I uh, got up super early yesterday for some reason, but I didn't go to bed any earlier. I was just awake for more hours. I went to bed at the usual time, and then obviously need to catch, catch more sleep a bit today. But it's fine. We are here. Got. I feel like I'm on a sneeze. It's not quite there though. <laughs> um, but I uh, I hope you're both well. What's going on? What, how are you doing, Meta? What's going on for you? <laughs> you you know that feeling, C star. You're like. I, I, you can feel it there. You're like, there's a sneeze that wants to come out. There's nothing I can do to force it out. Just do, do a fat rail of some dust. <laughs> uh, that's not a euphemism. It's an actual... <laughs> there's some dust around here, right? Snort some dust. Um, um, ah, not... Yeah, okay. So not for you. For your, for your, your husband and just uh, a routine thing. Well, hopefully... Hopefully it's still all good. <clears throat> Meta. but yeah yeah it's not i'm sure it is and i'm sure he'll be fine it's just of course that you know it's a day where you got there's a thing you have to do it's better to have a day where you don't have to do anything isn't it um but yeah look, fingers crossed it's all gonna be all right um yeah you've got to be there to drive him well um yeah i'm sure you'll be fine I'm sure everything will be alright. Uh, when you do have to do those things, though, mate, I find it such a relief when you get home. It's like extra exciting when you get home. <laughs> uh, I find that definitely. But um, yeah, hopefully everything um, goes alright, buddy. Um, I'm sure it will. But yeah, Friday. It's Friday. This where's where is this week gone? There it was gone. Um, right, uh, yours is in the mail. Oh, that's that sucks. It's not with you yet. Also, what's this new Pokemon? It's the um. I've seen a few people mention it. Scarlet and Violet. That's what it is, isn't it? I can't even keep up with her series anymore. Honestly. <laughs> uh. I wonder, uh, wonder what new stuff it introduces. Apart, from, I guess it's new Pokemon, right? <clears throat> yes, there you go. Arriving on Nintendo Switch tomorrow. I guess this was written yesterday. Oh, of course the. Uh, Sprigagito. Uh, Sprigagito. Sprig Sprigatito. Sprigatito, yes. Little plant cat. Okay. Grass cat. Excellent. Okay. The, um... I feel the, <sighs> they must start to get to the point where they just run out of ideas. Um... I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know through all of them, is it? I wonder how many new ones there are. But, uh... Well, what are we up to? I feel like, like 1,200 or something. I can't even keep up. I like the look of these, uh... Elemental Warrior ones. Armor Rouge. Uh, Sarah Ledge, particularly. That's cool. Uh, Wiggler? What's Wiggler? 
little while. Anyway, yeah, and what's a... Uh, uh, Farrow Giraffe. That's that's confusing. I can't tell. Is it where, is that just a, a hoodie it's wearing, or is it is that its head, and it just happens to have its its tongue is the head of a giraffe. I don't. I can't really wrap my head around that one. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to look at Pokemon for a minute. Uh, just curious, very curious. Um, uh, you know, even watch trailers, you're going to dive in uh, completely blind, mate. Excellent. Yeah, we're up to thousand and ten Pokemon total now. Yeah, that's what I feel it needs. You know, surely they need to, uh, you know, they need to be like an ultimate Pokemon game. I don't know how it would function, but, you know, the whole uh, ethos of the Pokemon game is you've got to catch them all. Yet there's not a single Pokemon game that has all the Pokemon. Because they keep, <laughs> even aside from the fact they keep adding new ones, uh, they just, I don't know, that, to me it, that would be like the ultimate Pokemon game, right? I don't know. I guess the, the problem is they then they'd have to stop. Uh, they they could no longer like put out new ones. They could, but then people would feel like kind of ripped off. Here's the ultimate Pokemon game until next year when we release a new one, and then it's no longer. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, uh, like I say, I don't know about you, C Star. I'm not. I'm aware of Pokemon and I don't dislike it. I'm just um since starting on Twitch I've met so many people who are like well into it. Like really well into it. Sween Thank you. What's this Sween? Thank you, Sween. How you doing, my dear? Are you well? Thirteen months. I don't deserve that. But if you're gonna give it to me, I'm gonna take it. Um Aphelene. How you doing, my dear? Are you well? But um yeah, so, uh, see, start. I played, um, I played a little bit of Pokemon Yellow and then a lot, like a, a full playthrough of Pokemon Red. They're both, like, Generation 1. And then many years after that, I, um, I don't know why, there's a bit of a resurgence. I got Pokemon Platinum, which I believe is of the fourth gen, um, for DS. And I played that, you know, a bunch of hours, but I didn't get, like, too far into it. Um, that's that's all the Pokemon games I've ever played. Um, so I fully get the concept. And I find it enjoyable. But my knowledge is severely uh, lacking. Anyway, Metapod, thank you so much for stopping in, buddy. I hope uh, you have a, a successful day today. And who knows, maybe Pokemon might be might get delivered while you're, uh, you're out and about. Or if not, it'll turn on tomorrow. But either way... Um, I definitely do deserve it. Okay, well, if you, uh, who am I to argue with you, Swing? Nobody. Uh, <laughs> um, interesting, interesting, Swing. Yes, you probably played uh, Yellow uh, like when you were a little kid back in the day. And yeah, X Omega Ruby. Yeah, I'd, I don't even know what gen that is. Uh, if it's in, but um, um. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, Easter. Yes, you played Yellow back in the day a little bit. Um, yeah, you did Digimon Girl. Yeah, a lot of people are. A lot of people are like more into Digimon or have um, like Metapod's very into Digimon. Um, I don't know if he considers them equal. Um, you know, Trouser Schnauzer, he's very much into Digimon. Um, but uh, yeah, not something I ever really got into. I did watch uh, Digimon Frontier uh, as recommended by Metapod. Which is, uh, gave me kind of, you know, a decent insight into that setting. Um, they're very, I feel they're very similar, but there's also like a very different vibe to them. Digimon feels a bit more dark and serious, relative, relatively, you know. Like, you know, it's not dark or serious, it's just relative to Pokemon, it is, um. Uh, and, and neither's neither one's better or the, than the other. It's like what you prefer. Um, but uh, yeah, interesting. Ah, well, oh bless. Well, I think they, I think they did uh, all right by you then, C Star. Yeah, because I guess if you um if you're working in the video game store, you're gonna uh, you know you're gonna try and do your best, and you're gonna be like, mm, what you know. 
not just make a sale but um what would be something that maybe uh you know here's the parents buying the game boy color they have no idea they're asking for recommendations let's uh maybe give what you know something that's popular at the minute or um is uh gonna get a decent amount of game time in um because you know something like a t turn based combat pokemon or otherwise um it's not for everybody i love it some people hate it some people will tolerate it for the sake of a pokemon game otherwise they've got no interest uh so it's a bit of gamble but you never know but uh, yeah it sounds like they uh did all right yeah okay one 101 dalmatian platformer game yeah because they, you know, they're just kind of uh you know just get shot in the dark basically yeah because it's uh yeah you don't know how you're gonna take to it but either way yeah swing that's the thing i like the idea of it and i technically have on the list set up to do i think i have access to the first five gens which i would be inclined to play in order but uh if you look at say i'm trying to remember i can't remember the which what the gen 2 one i've got on the list is i'm gonna put it up i've actually even got it i don't know if i've got it on the games list uh, maybe I did. Let me just let me just have a quick look. Um, I just put Pokemon series. Oh yeah, I, uh, sort of then. Uh, my God, so many games. I think yeah, Crystal. Yeah, yeah. Because anyone doesn't know, every every Pokemon generation has two games, and then a year or two after that, there is the special edition of the single version, which I would say so you got red and blue, and the special edition is yellow. And Gen two apparently is gold and silver, and the special edition is crystal. So I would play crystal. So uh, which I've never played, but um, you know, so we could do like a full playthrough of Pokemon Yellow. And then we start Crystal. What is different? Different area. Uh, different Pokemon. The game is identical. There's no... <laughs> there's, there's no... Difference going on in any way, shape, or form. Um, so, yeah, I do get that. And I feel that as... Um, as the series progresses, they, are de they do definitely add to, like, new mechanics and stuff and new gameplay and... Obviously, it looks better and plays better each time. But I, I get where you're coming from, Swing. Um, Ryan! Sir Ryan, how are you doing, bro? Are you well today? Uh, and Red Mage as well. Look at, look at these bad men coming in here. Um, yeah, what's this? 101 Dalmatians on... Is it Was it a Game Boy game, C-Star? Was it on a Game Boy Color specific? Which there was less of those, but... Um, uh, there, was, there was still a thing. I'll, we could even cover it on stream if you want, uh, C Star. <laughs> I'm not saying I'd be very good at it or I'd give it much time, but um, who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, because I've probably got it, to be fair. I mean, if we were playing Pokemon, we'd be catching Psyduck. I'm sure, Red Mage. Um, Catching side ducks in the new game causes performance issues. <laughs> I wouldn't surprise me. Um, you feel like a bag, a whole bag, a whole bag, Ryan. <laughs> it's a par partially filled bag, a whole bag. Um, see, uh, in that description, uh, initial, um, initial glance, that I'm like, oh, that must feel bad. It depends who you are, though. It might feel good to feel like that. It kind of depends what you're into, doesn't it? Uh, it's not good. Okay, there we go. I would imagine it's not good. But is it a throat still, buddy? Is it has that not healed up? It's something else. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me find out then, Sea Star. Yeah, because um, I guess technically, 
Because technically, Game Boy Color was like the first console that had backwards compatibility built into it. You could get a Game Boy Color system, Game Boy, and st stick in your normal Game Boy games and you'd play them perfectly f fine. So let me have a look. Um, I don't. I doubt they would have released a Dalmatians game um, on both. It'd be one or the other. It's uh, struggling to find it. I don't know why. Well, let's, let's do uh, image search. So I'll be able to see a picture of it. Or not. <laughs> uh, there's one of the... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, there was a 102 Dalmatians. Puppies to the rescue uh, on the Game Boy Color. Um, come on, uh, are we fandom here? Yeah? No, Ugh. oh, here we go. Wikipedia coming to the rescue. I think it might have. I think it might have been that. Oh, that's PlayStation. Um, I can't find it. So maybe it's um, maybe it's this one. Was it only? Yeah, it seems to be this one. I don't know. Yeah, it was that one. Okay, yeah, 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue, uh, released in t the year 2000 on um, PC, PlayStation, Dreamcast, and Game Boy Color. Cool. Okay. Let me find the same one. Uh, so it's kind of like a, um, a 2D platformer collector game. Okay. Let me see if I can... Uh... Yeah, so I would pre I bet I've got this on not only on game I definitely on I'll have it on Game Boy Color, but I might even have it on PS1. Um I mean I, yeah, I'm not I can't tell which system these uh, screenshots are from. But uh it's obviously not Game Boy Color. It, it, um. I mean, yeah, the, uh, this must be the PS1 version I'm looking at here. PS1 version looks pretty good. Anyway, going down a rabbit hole now. Uh, L, how you doing? I hope you're well, L. Um, but, um, <laughs> uh, you come from Dalmatia in Croatia. Oh my god. <laughs> I, uh, I wonder if, I wonder if that's somehow related to the name of the dog. I don't know. But more important than, uh, Dalmatians, sorry to say, everybody, is the fact that, uh, Red Mage is over 9,000. Is um, I feel is more important. Uh, thank you, Red Mage. Got to keep you waiting there. Damn, sir. Moving on up. He's he's not. He's taking no prisoners. He's he's getting after Slick Mick. But yeah, how how are you doing today? How are you well? Make 
36 and 35. Yeah, there's a, there's a sale on Steam. Uh, all sorts of cool things. Um, they had some of those uh, games on... Um, uh, let me pull it up. On, uh, on sale recently. I think they might be even cheaper now, Red Mage, which you'd feel kind of a bit salty. If <laughs> Here, get these games for cheap. Okay. Thank you. They're going to be even cheaper next week. Fool. <laughs> like, well, don't do this to me. But uh, it seems to be like a big proper sale now. Um, so, yeah, a bunch of what looked interesting. Specifically. Yeah, Nino Kuni 2. 85% off. I mean, it doesn't mean that. I think Squidge said she liked it much better than the first one. So that. Makes me feel like somewhat tempted. Um, uh, Tales of Arise still looking a bit too expensive, in my opinion. Um, I like that if Elden Ring's in there and it's not actually on sale. <laughs> hey, look at the sale. This game isn't in sale, but it's part of the sale. <laughs> it's like, what are you? Um, Tales of Vesperia, I believe that's on Game Pass. And I actually own the, the standard edition anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, loads of all sorts of like Naruto and Dragon Ball stuff, Sword Art Online, all that kind of jazz. Um, Tales of Berseria, massively reduced, but I already own that. Um, so yeah, the ones that are quite t tempting, Tales of Symphonia, £3.74. Uh, Tales of Versesteria, three pound 99 they're the, they're the real tempting ones all right but it's but you know how it is red mage it's just adding to that backlog it's not like you know my life will it's not like my life will not be complete if i don't ever play them will be will actually be absolutely fine we've got enough stuff to be doing oh that's interesting there's a black clover uh game i don't know if it's any good it's a fighting game. No, I've got no interest. I the problem with anime. It lends itself uh, very well to um, fighting games, which I suck at. I love the idea of them. I'm just terrible at them. I have no interest in like actually trying to get good at them. Um, but yeah, I think that was the extent of it. Um, yeah, look at One Punch Man game. But it's a fighting game. So, so <laughs> yeah, and like the majority of the One Piece games, the fighting games, it's like what? what? Oh yeah, coming soon, One Piece Odyssey pre-purchase. It's like no, I will wait till it's on sale, fool. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? Um, yo, vibes, how you doing, vibes? Sorry, keep you waiting there, buddy. Um, but yeah, how's everyone? How's everyone's Friday so far? Uh, father's 60th birthday today, Al. And you've had a, a, a little drink. Excellent. Well, congratulations to him. Sent him uh, our, you know, happy birthday from us. Um, yeah, I guess the the second, the 102nd one, Red Mage, must have been like a new baby that wasn't born in the original. The Gaming Avengers. <laughs> Thank you. How you doing, Ben? What's this button do? That button... Shows your absolute crazy dedication of the Game Avengers to little old me. Not necessary, Ben. But my God, look at that. 20 months. Bless you, sir. What a ledge. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, you don't have enough of any. <laughs> no, indeed. Indeed, Red Mage. And that's the thing. You, when you, you buy this game and you just admire it in your Steam library for the next five years and never play it. So, what? Come on, buddy. Yeah, I've heard Berseria. I've be, I've heard anecdotally that it may be the best in the Tale series. Thankfully, I already own it. I bought it, like, super cheap. Um, but we'll see. Uh, the only Tales game that I've played is uh, Vesperia, which I believe is probably kind of 
considered like the I don't know if it was the first one. Um the most like well known of them, I don't know. Uh I have uh the original version. Um which so we can play that anytime, we don't need to worry about it. I do believe the definitive version is also on Game Pass at the minute. Um a really, really excellent game. Um uh, very, very fun game. Um so I would assume that most of the other Tales games are very similar. Um but still, there's no point in me dropping money because we ain't exactly running out of games to play. So it'll come around again. You now, oh, you just bought them all, did you, Red Mage? Yeah. And you, will you ever play them? Who knows? Uh, uh, so vibes. Are you? Uh, are you not? You don't have a backlog. You just pick a game, play it, pick another game. You don't think, uh, about, you know, you don't own extra games. Yeah, you need to, uh, yeah, Red Mage. <laughs> he's, uh, he's got more games than he, uh, has time to play them. Um, yeah, I, I know you, you, right. A lot, a lot of you guys love whiskey. I, um, I am not really into spirits, uh, and if I am, I need I need a mixer with it. If you give me like neat whiskey, sure I could whack it down the hatch and feel the burn, but I'm not going to enjoy drinking it. <laughs> I, I did used to drink a lot of Jack Daniels with Coke, uh, just to get just to get messy, basically. Um, in in my youth, um, and I could definitely I can enjoy. I guess my spirit of choice would probably be rum. Um, rum and coke. I feel that works quite well. I'm uh, I'm into that, particularly if it's dark rum. Uh, particularly if it's spiced dark rum. Um, yummy. I, I could enjoy that. Uh, particularly, I'm just not an alcohol guy, really. Personally, cold beer. If you're eating, you know, with appropriate beer food, uh, definitely could go for that. But um, otherwise, um, you know. But uh, as long as uh, as long as he, I hope he has a good day, L. I hope he enjoys himself. Yeah, right. No, indeed, it, it is a thing, isn't it? But it's it's kind of nice to know that you have the thing there. Um, it's about balance, isn't it? I I have a backlog. We you know that's never going to get played. But I um, let's try to be uh, cognizant of it. There are certain games that I would um feel we have to cover on the channel eventually um but uh we've got plenty of time so it's not worry about that um vibes good on you sir vibes you're doing it right um yeah look cause you, you buy those you've got all the tales games now red mage and you every time you open up steam you look at them and go oh they look so good I can't wait to... I, I, I bet I'll really enjoy playing those. I don't know when I'll do that, but... <laughs> it's it's fine, buddy. You've know, got to stress it. Um, why, the real question is, why wouldn't he be... Why would he not be twerking, Ben? Um, it, <laughs> fair enough, Ryan. Fair enough. Go for it. Wolf! How are you doing, Wolf? Are you well today, bro? I hope you are. Welcome in. Um, yeah, L, that's what I try to go with. Uh, but then I, I, I get where Red Mage is coming from. You know, you see a deal and it's a particularly good, interesting game. Um, and for me, it's just like weighing up the price. The way I see it with digital game sales is they have like infinite versions of that game, don't they? Because it's digital. They get an amount of money, and the, on a lot, on the more time goes on, the less value a digital product has, because everybody who wants it already has it. So then you're kind of trying to to have any value to the owners. You try uh, the owners of the the product, as opposed to the people who've bought it. Um, you're just trying to um, see if we can get any more money out of it. Can we get any more money out of it? You know what I'm getting at. All those games that are currently on sale in that uh, Namco Bandai sale on Steam at the minute. A year from now, you'll have the same sale, and they'll either be the same price or fractionally cheaper. 
10 years from now, they'll have the same sale and they'll either be the same price or significantly cheaper. So I might look at, oh, 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 uh, you know, uh, which one was it? Uh, te whichever one of the tails I was just looking at uh, for like three quid. Symphonia. Oh, £3.74. That's not, that's not too expensive. It'll be £1.74 five years from now. 15 years from now, they'll be like giving it away for pennies. It'll probably be on Game Pass. You see what I'm saying? So there's no point in me spending money unless I'm about to get right on it. So I totally understand where, um, you know, L is. being like, I'm, I'm just not buying any games at all. I'm not even going to look at Steam. I'm not going to consider anything until I've got, I've cleared my uh, plate. And Vibes even take it to another level. Vibes literally has completed every game he owns. Uh, and then he's like, okay, well, I'm going to... Now now we'll get a new one. I'm not going to look until I need a new one. Uh, so what... Uh, <laughs> what um what game are you current what is your current game vibes um are you sween i can see i can see you uh i can see you boshing uh it's your favorite jack and coke yeah oh my god sween you and me get so messy back in the day. <laughs> i got i had to stay away from it uh it did agree with me but um it's very easy to drink isn't it and it's um Yeah, it's also not cheap. Uh, <laughs> um, and you need to revive your wallet. Yeah, you, you did that, Red Mage. <laughs> See you back in a bit, buddy. Um, you're, you're into the spirits, I uh, See, start not vodka. Yeah, vodka's like... Some people really, really enjoy vodka because it's like... It's almost like the it's the pure uh, alcohol spirit, which you, or you surely you need a, a mixer with it. But I, I don't know. It feels to me that it's just kind of like too much like... Uh, it's too st stripped down. It's like, it's too, like, paint stripper. But, <laughs> it, you know, I'm not here to judge. It's going to get, you know, under the right circumstances, I'd bosh anything. Um, Poots! Sir Poots, Cootie, how you doing, buddy? Are you well? Um, you got to go completely from the other side of the internet. Uh, oh, what's our fucking connection speed doing? Okay, sorry. Language. I just dropped down into red there. I was... Let's hope it holds out today. I, I would like to end the week well. Um, it's been a good week. The start wasn't great, but the rest of the week's been great. Oh, fair enough, Elle. Yeah, I mean, Coca-Cola is not good for you. It's not something you should actually put in your body, <laughs> really. But, um, yeah, good on you, Elle. Yeah, yeah. I, I know people who make a habit out of alcohol. I don't think it's a good habit to have. It should be an indulgence, you know, like like any anything. Don't don't do it every day. They tricked you. Oh, get a refund. You can get a refund within twenty four hours, Red Mage. Right. So the standard version of Symphonia is the one on sale, and there's a remaster version that's not on sale. Yeah, and obviously you want the. You want the definitive version, don't you? Bastards, Red Mage. Yeah, oh, that's the way it goes. You have to be careful. People, because you got, uh, you see that shot, you, everyone wants a deal. Everyone wants a good deal. And they throw them up there. Ooh, shiny deal. It's 90% off. Well, you, you dictate the original price anyway, so it's not, <laughs> it doesn't really make any difference. Um, Uh, tequila. I, I can do a couple of shots of tequila, Sween. You don't want to get um too crazy with it. Pretty much drunk, Evan. Well, uh, here's the thing, Sween. If you're gonna go visit friends, um, you know who you're not like, you don't not gonna really see that often. Then um, you know you gotta you gotta enjoy yourself, haven't you? Um, but yeah, guys, so uh, thank you all for being here. Yes, and thank you to the Game Avengers and Sween for those uh, lovely resubs. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, here we are. What's going on in life? I don't know. I don't know. We've uh, we've had a great week playing Elden Ring. My God, I was getting slapped around like a little bitch yesterday. But we made progress uh, of, a, of a fashion. Um, so uh, what do we need to do today? We, uh, we're going to go and try and deal with... A fake Godric. 
as a warm-up for real Godric. And then we're going to go do the real guy. He, he seems he seems to be the same character model. So I assume the fake one is like a, a weaker version. Um, and we could use him as like training. Oh, Ben, it was brutal yesterday. We died like... I think we died over 30 times yesterday. Um, uh, on, on what is presumably kind of comparatively like supposed to be regarded as like an early section of the game. I was just um, getting my ass handed to me a bit. But, you know, so I lost so many runes, so much XP. Didn't level up a single time. But we made physical progress through the area. Um, and got lo loads of random items as well. Some like cool various weapons we can maybe try out at some point. But, um, you know, because it's not just about leveling up, it's about progressing through the area. It's just, it's also just a bit disheartening as well. Uh, because I'm, you know, I'm, a, I, you know, I, I, I do like playing games that have XP and you can potentially grind, or you, even if you're not grinding, you get a level up. And then you're like, oh, look at my stats have gone up a little bit. Um, which in a game like this, it, it really does help. You know, have a, a little bit of extra stamina, a little bit of extra hit points, a little bit more damage on your weapon. Oh, the ability to use a new spell, whatever it may be. You know, wear slightly heavier, heavier armor, whatever. Um, every little does kind of help. Um, so I feel it, uh, it definitely made things a bit trickier, but... Uh, it's fine. We made some amount of progress. I don't think you can sit down and play the game for like six hours and not make some kind of progress. But we've got our... Uh, we're going to have our first real big tough battle coming up when we deal with Godric, I feel. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> yeah, there you go. So you're going to make a yearly thing out of it, Swing. That's pretty cool. Which Souls game is best for beginners, L? Um, I would, in my experience, having played the Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and um, and obviously my brief introduction to Elden Ring, can't speak about Demon Souls or Bloodborne, uh, but I would say not Elden Ring. Um, <laughs> at least Dark Souls, it feels contained enough where it, It's kind of uh, giving you some kind of line to follow. You might have different options of directions to go, but it's kind of almost very, fairly straightforward. You pick a direction and you progress down it, and you go. And even if you hit a wall, and you're like, oh, that's tough. You can maybe like back off and choose a different direction. Elden Ring, you're just like, what? What do I do? Uh, and I feel it's not. It's not the combat is equally difficult uh, or easy, depending on who you are. But I feel it's, I feel it's easier to get a foothold in the Souls games and to to start leveling up to to get some sense of progression. Um, Elden Ring less so, but that kind of for me that makes it more fascinating. So I mean I don't know I don't say oh you could just dive in the deep end and get on Elden Ring or I guess um if you're gonna get into the series I would just start Dark Souls one, take it from there. I feel, in gameplay terms, that D Dark Souls 3 plays the best of the trilogy. So if that was a concern, you could uh, you could go that route. But uh, there's no uh, there's no wrong answer. Um, but yeah, a lot of people love Bloodborne uh, and find it to be very much play more playable than the, the Dark Souls trilogy. Again, I can't comment on that. Yo, Seven, how are you doing? It is. How are you doing? Are you all right? Are you going to be uh, around on Sunday, Seven? Or... Um... But it doesn't, you know, if you're not, don't worry about it. But if you are, cool. Um, sounds good, Swain. Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls 3 is a good good start, isn't it, Poots? I feel the, um, the, 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 the combat feels more kind of fluid, uh, in Elden Ring, uh, even more so than uh, Dark Souls Three, but I feel Three is the f it has that fluidity. Um, I think mean, the the function. I just mean, what do I mean by that? I feel like, it feels like you have got more freedom of movement slightly. Um, 
like you you dodge rolls uh or just like a bit quicker and you move a bit quicker on things that's what it feels like i don't know if that's true that's just my feeling um i could probably summed it up a little bit better. Right, I can't speak of on Neo myself because I never played it uh, L, but I'll put it this way. My good friend Skyfer, um, he, a year ago, he'd never played any Souls games. Then his viewers kind of like challenged him, like, eh, Sky, play Dark Souls. And he's like, whoa, what are you doing to me? For They started playing it for lols. And he got, not only did he really get into them, he got good at them. He is good at them. Like, I'm like, bro, you're, You've got some skills. Um, far better than me. Far, that's not really saying much. But, uh, so he's played all of them. He struggled with Neo. He, I think he gave up on it. He, if he, he, and I don't know that he was maybe that he. It was actually too difficult. But maybe the because you have to balance the amount of difficulty to the reward of the enjoyment of playing the game. So I'm finding Elden Ring very difficult, but I'm uh, extremely immersed in the game. So the, that's the reward. So it could be that it, Neo was difficult, but he felt the the immersion of the game, the setting, he was like, I'm not really feeling this. So my, my I would be wary personally about getting to Neo just because, um, like I say, Sky who I, you know, is the, the soul's god. He couldn't get on with it. So I'm like, eh. Oh, and Sekiro. Ugh, I, I'll stay away from that. Some people find it easy. Uh, I, um... Like, uh, Prince Valentine. It's been got many... It's been months since I've last spoken to him, but Prince, um, he, um... He's like an expert at it. Uh... I can't get on with Sekiro because there's no blocking. It's just dodging and it's made, it's designed to be like a parry game. And it's I can't do that shit. But um So yeah, I don't know. That so yeah, there's a few options there for you there, L. Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3. Or uh, yeah, whatever takes your fancy. I would I would go for whatever you can get cheap if you don't own any of them. <laughs> Um, because they're all similar enough that you should be able to get on with them. You'd have to see. Well, don't, I don't, don't, uh, risk anything, Seven, if it's, uh, if it's a problem. But you know where I'll be. Um, go Root! You missed the jibber jabber. You're about to, you're about to miss it. The jibber jabber can continue while I'm playing the game. Scotty! Well, I don't know. You tell me, Scotty, what's going on here? I don't know. We're just, we're just here. Um, no, yeah, I doubt it was, L. Like I say, I don't know whether it is because um, Neo is just insanely hard, and that's why Sky quit on it, or whether it was very hard, but it wasn't interesting enough for him to overcome that difficulty. Like I say, he, I consider him a soul's god, and he gave up on Neo. So you'd have to ask him more about that, the specifics. Um... It, I mean, it is the end of Jibber Jabber, Scotty, in the in the say in the fact of that we're about to start the game, but the Jibber Jabber goes as long as you keep it going. Um, but um, guys, thank you for being here. I hope you're all well um, on this fine Friday. Um, and is there anything else I need to address? What's going on in the world? Is anything going on in the world? Um. I don't know. Maybe, probably. Who knows? So yeah, I see a lot of ha uh, hashtags on Twitter. Goodbye Twitter, rip Twitter, Twitter shutdown. Um, and I guess it's all to do with Elon, but I don't know what he's like necessarily done. Um, like what a specific thing he's done. I don't. I know he brought in this um. You gotta pay eight dollars a month for your blue check mark. <laughs> Are people upset about that? They're like, well, they just don't pay it. 
Oh, but I need my blue check mark. No, you don't. But I need, I need it. No, you, you, know, you don't. What universe do you live in where you need a blue check mark on Twitter? It's not this one. It's the fantasy universe in your in your head. <laughs> um, but thank you for the lurk out. I appreciate it. Um, oh, of course you're getting in today. You got cancelled. Oh, fair enough, Root. It's your artist not feeling well, or. But yeah, go walk your dog, go out. Um. Right, he's treating his employees like shit. Yeah. He's, lo he's fired everyone, locked the doors. What is going on in there? He's, uh. He's not maybe he's building a little, uh, Moloch statue or something. I don't know. And all the new employees have to, uh. Have to give her, like, a, a vial of blood. And, uh. <laughs> dedicate themselves to uh the the dark lords before they're allowed to work there i don't know we'll have to wait and see um but i mean from the outside the app the platform is still functioning so i don't i don't know um i know there's a lot of people who hate elon musk for reasons that i don't really understand there's a lot of people who love him for reasons that i don't understand um i'm just i i, I don't Life's too short to be getting involved in all that jazz, uh, honestly. You could sit down and have a, an in-depth conversation about the whole thing. You know, listen to someone on... I could have someone on one side and we have a debate who loves him, someone on the other side who hates him, and I would probably just be annoyed with both people, honestly. Uh, so <laughs> uh, you hate... There you go. Sween hates him, and he looks like an egg. Okay. The uh, thing is, Sween, I like eggs, so I don't know... I guess your point is, of course, that humans shouldn't look like eggs. Um, yeah, the, I mean, the blue check mark used to mean you were verified. But that's the thing. I, you know, I could have a phone call with Twitter and be like, it's me, isn't it? What, what do you need to do? What do I need to do to prove that I am? Give me my blue check mark. And then it's something to do with how many like followers you get and stuff, isn't it? Really? um it's supposed to lend more legitimacy but of course by charging for it it doesn't um it, it removes its meaning well I, I mean i find twitter somewhat useful uh c star uh so i'll, I'll you know i've deleted my facebook and i've deleted instagram it's the only uh social media i use not that i'm really into social media the only reason i even use it is as some kind of support for the channel um like if it, if it died i'm not going to jump on another social media we'll just keep it on everything on stream it will just be you know, just distilled down further uh no distilled condensed further into the channel and discord so be it um I don't even like really look at it. I haven't, I haven't got time. I'm sure I miss uh, uh, loads of stuff. He's racist, is he? Oh, he looks like a racist egg. <laughs> is he racist? I don't know. I guess that's open to interpretation. Some people may say he is. But um, I'm sure he would deny that. Um, he's sexist as well. Yeah, how does that's the thing, Seven? How does one externally verify their identity? Come on here, I'm Isnib. I'm streaming live right on Twitch right now. Every single human being in the world come into chat right now, and you can see it's me. What what more verification do you? I don't know. Um. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. It is things way outside of the bounds of uh, Twitter. Don't be distracted, guys. Twitter's the least of it. It's a, you know, it's a smokescreen. Know that, folks. It, you know. They want, yeah. They want you to pay attention to something when there's more important shit going on, okay? Which I guess that's what I'm taking up your time, talking about playing freaking Elden Ring. That's not important, is it? <laughs> um, but, um, just be aware of that, okay? I'm not saying it's not important. I'm just saying there's more important shit going on behind the scenes. Um... And yeah, and maybe it is, the, it is the end of the world. Not the end of the world, but the end of the world as we know it. It's the beginning of the end. And I feel pretty good as well. Scotty just got a new job. I'm, uh, I'm live streaming on Twitch with you, lovelies. And we're about to play some more Elden Ring. So, 
I feel, I'm feeling pretty freaking good right now. Um, right. Okay. So you ha so you can't just like make a new account, have no followers, and uh, verify. But anyway, that's all gone, hasn't it? Because uh, you got to pay for it, and it's I don't know. Okay, and ah right, yeah. So if you verified, you got more. You got the Twitter keeping their eyeballs on you to make sure you're behaving. Okay, but it gives you more legitimacy on the platform. Apparently, supposedly, I think it's more for um. I think the re the reality of it is it's more intended for uh celebrities, famous people, because then you know it says this is the you know, you know the rock verified that is the actual rock now all the other 100 uh parody fake uh fan accounts of the rock they're not really the rocks you don't need to follow them or pay attention to them unless you're obsessed with the rock which is i mean there's better i'll just say there's better things to be obsessed about um but there's also much worse things to be obsessed about um that's what it's really for there's you know there's nobody else out there who's like i miss nib well actually there technically is because I miss Nib one on Twitter because somebody actually stole that name. I don't know how they managed that. There's only one Isnib, folks. I'll I'll I'll, I'll do a, an amateur uh, a cage fight to defend my name uh, <laughs> to claim it. I'll, I'll do that. I don't mind. Um, but I think most, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even get it. I don't really care about it. Um, Yeah, hundred percent, Sky. You'll be fine. I'm very happy. Um, bro, I'm so pleased for you. Yeah, the first. Yeah, I could have said that. Uh, oh, it could have been like the real Isnib. I just wanted to keep it uh, short. I've got, I've got my name on uh, YouTube though, uh, even though I've not got enough uh, fo followers, subscribers on YouTube to have a proper uh, have it as an an Earl. It's just it's uh youtube.com slash keyboard mash uh <laughs> rather than youtube.com slash isn't it but I've, it's reserved for the future so they no one else can take that um but uh yeah no i do i do see there's nothing on there uh, i don't put i don't make videos or anything cool at c star it's literally just a repository for the streams um because occasionally um people want access to them um, I've got, I've got a, you know, a cool guy I know called Rue. Uh, he stops in and now and then. Um, but he doesn't have time to be here during the stream. But he will, depending on what we've played, he has, like, gone back and watched the YouTube videos just to uh, check them out. I think, um, I think, uh, like, Atheline's caught up, caught up because she missed the end of The Walking Dead. Um, so that's really what it's for if people just want to catch up on things. Of course, you can do the VODs if then if it's recent stream on Twitch, but um, or if I just have any funny clips uh, that I've bothered to put on there, uh, I also started doing, before I even started streaming. I put um, let's plays, but who knows? Uh, there has been other things suggested to me that I could or should do, but I'm never going to be a YouTuber in the sense of making content. Uh, so I don't expect the channel to be anything or anything to come of it. Um, but it's almost like there as a placeholder, because who knows? I don't know what's going to happen two years from now, five years from now, twenty years from now. Maybe I might need to use it. Who knows? If some weird, crazy thing, oh, fuck, what's this? Buy viewers, followers, and primes. How about go fuck? Oh, sorry, swing beam into it. How about go fuck yourself? <laughs> How about that instead? Hmm? How about that? How about no? How about if I was the richest man in the world, I wouldn't buy your trash? Jog on, son. Um, you know, what's the saying? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's not really, it's not for anything, C Star. But the, you know, who knows if there was a time in the future where some, because you know, we're um, I know a lot of people hate on tw Twitch for various reasons, and it can be frustrating at times. But uh, all, all in all, in the balance, we're very lucky to be able to stream on a live platform where we can engage and i don't have to pay twitch anything 
and they even said it's even set up so i can make revenue off it potentially so for all the twitch do wrong and silly decisions they the community feel they make i am technically grateful but it could all go away tomorrow they could just go oh by the way guys we've closing down the platform here's your final payout see you later they could decide to do that um and if that happened then you know i've got to keep the channel going the, the show goes on um in one place or another and it seemed the only logical place that would take place would be youtube um so you never know it's just there as a placeholder um steph how are you doing today steph are you well um yeah yeah sea style yeah they do um i'm just lazy with that so like i say it's just a placeholder um you know my focus is uh very much on uh on twitch but yes i do technically have that uh <laughs> um but and the, and the name is reserved so we're all good um eating breakfast at a reasonable time today that's all right it, it, do it anytime steph do it, do it if you like no 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 judgment here but uh what you having um making me hungry talking about food um indeed indeed seven so uh, you know i'm uh i'm here i'm always going to be somewhere uh and you know if nothing ever changes on twitch uh i don't see a reason for me to leave that's you know things will change of course and we'll see what happens um What the hell is a protein waffle i don't know but i, I want to eat it um <laughs> excellent steph yeah getting uh getting the right uh nutrients in there good on you yeah so uh sea star generally speaking uh yes um it seems that and then they've they've bought a lot of the uh big streamers over from uh from twitch and good on them um they generally do i understand the user experience for the viewer isn't as good like the chat with emotes and how everything functions isn't as good but that will get better over time to equal or be better than twitch um so they give a for the for the uh streamer you get a, they give you more money youtube gives you more money you get a 70 30 split in your favor whereas it's 50 50 on uh twitch so that's better however you have to uh there are the the equivalent of what an affiliate is to be able to earn revenue on twitch is the barrier for entry is a lot higher on youtube so yes you can get more money potentially on youtube relatively but like if i moved all of you guys and everything over to youtube right now i'm suddenly not able to make money so <laughs> uh so basically if you're a you know no one likes the term small streamer everyone's a streamer doesn't matter whether you're streaming to nobody or you're streaming to all the people in the universe you're still a streamer don't 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 take the term small but it, by youtube standards i would be a small streamer there's no there's no benefit for me to move to youtube if you're a brand new streamer starting out from scratch and you've never you don't know anybody on twitch and you've never used twitch and you don't really care about it maybe the better option is just just go youtube and try and build from scratch there maybe that's the better option or if you're like a giant name famous name um anyway people you know your viewership's going to follow you wherever um so that regard but for us smaller streamers we're better off being here especially if we've already if you've already been here for the past two years there's no benefit to you you know you could say oh well in the long run like I, like say in 10 years i would be better off if i move to youtube right now than if i just stay here that could be true but you've got no way of knowing if it will be um so uh but yes who knows it could be a, lot of, a potential backup 
Um, but I'll be. That's why. I, that's why I don't really mention it. See, stocks. It's, like, it's just. Uh, it's just a place for me to. It's like a giant Google Drive for me. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Appreciate ya. Um, it does sound quite key eyed, doesn't it? Uh, Af. Yeah, that's a, and that's the thing, Root. Like you found us because you were looking for a live stream. Uh, that was you know who who's who's playing Dragon Age Inquisition at the minute. Oh, oh, this seems interesting. Oh, cool. And now, thankfully, you've stayed. You you like you know you like you know, like the vibe here. Um, the people who spend all their time on YouTube are not looking for live streams. That's the difference. I feel. So I don't doubt you could technically, uh, because it's, it's the, the user base of YouTube is so staggeringly greater than Twitch. Um, I'm sure you could do it in theory. But the thing on Twitch, everyone who's on Twitch at the moment on the whole platform as a viewer, they know what they're looking for. So if you're putting out that content on YouTube, 99.9999999999% of people on the platform don't give a shit about what you're doing. Not even necessarily because of what you're doing, but because you're live. You're like, live? Ugh. No, I want a pre-recorded video, friend. You're live? I give no flying fizzles about that. Uh, who knows? Uh, it could be a future... In like I say, if you were like brand new to streaming, it could be a future investment. Um... And I've even seen um, some uh, Twitch streamer people in the um, greater community who, um, you know, they've been maybe streaming for the past year or two. And uh, maybe their audience is a little bit smaller than what we have here. And they're like, hmm, maybe I should start over from scratch on YouTube. And if they want to do that, they should do that. But... Um, I feel for the Isnib show for the foreseeable future, you know, we should start, you know, start as you mean to go on. We're going to stay here unless there's a big reason for us to move and then we'll, then we'll do with that as it comes up. But for now, we're absolutely fine. Um, yeah, so basically, so, um, Seastar, if you're not aware, so basically to get the affiliation status on Twitch, you have to have 50 followers. You have to stream a certain amount, which isn't very much, so ignore that. But you have to also have an average of three or more viewers over a month. Now, some people struggle with that because, it, you know, when you're starting out, you've got no viewers. You've got to build your viewers. Uh, it's going to take a while. Um, but, you know, so average of, th over, of three v or more viewers over a month and 50 followers. Um... And most people, they hit the 50 followers before they hit the average of three viewers. I was lucky enough to, you know, uh, you know, the random people who found me decided to stick around uh, for the most part. And I was like, you know, rocking like four, five, six average viewers way before I'd even got 50 followers. I was just, I was like, come on, let's get a few more followers in here. Then, I, <laughs> then we're good. And I've got my affiliation. Uh, but on YouTube, it's uh, essentially, it's the same as... Um, uh, it's, it's the same as just having your channel monetized. You uh, subscribers, as they're known on uh, YouTube, uh, followers, as they're known on Twitch, same thing. You need a thousand. You need one thousand. Now, one thousand followers is considered quite a quite a uh, you know a, uh, a milestone by most Twitch uh, streamers. I feel I'll be pretty damn happy. We're slowly creeping up there. Um, I'm very happy. When I'm, I don't like to pay attention to numbers, but I, you know, I feel we're doing very well personally for a small channel. Um, but uh, we shall uh, we shall see. Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. <laughs> uh, wetting the whistle. Hmm. The uh, yeah. So not only do you need a thousand followers before you're even eligible. You also need a certain amount of watch time. Not hours streamed, but watch time across all of your channel. So that could be your, your actual videos. It doesn't have to be your live streams, or it could be your live streams. Um, 
but so you could get your thousand followers your thousand subscribers but then just not enough people are watching your stream or watching your other videos so it's kind of like an all-in-one platform like you are encouraged to make like you say as you alluded to see start short form content shorts um that's not my forte my forte is just being here live with you guys in the moment um so it's uh you know more potential rewards but for the smaller streamer uh it's it's hard to um it seems like twitch is a potentially a uh a better option in my opinion anyway i'm gonna uh, catch up and we'll be on the chat um You, you, Scott, you say that's a basic bitch. That sounds like oh, yeah, you mean the pumpkin spice is basic bitch? Okay, <laughs> the whole thing sounds not basic to me. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, potentially C star. Yeah, because this thing like um, I know Tim the Tapman went over there, and some others I'm sure. Uh, I know, like, uh, Dr. Disrespect had issues, and then he went over there. With, he had some issues with Twitch, I don't know. But basically, that, like, in, t in Tim's case, YouTube was like, yo, Tim, come and stream for us. Here's, like, a million dollars. And he's like, ah, oh, uh, okay, yeah, I'll go to that. I don't know how much they gave him, but they literally just gave him a, a you know, a, uh, an upfront, you know, amount of cash. And he's like, there's no reason for me not to. Um... Because, uh, you know, from his point of view, he's like, oh, well, I might lose 10% of my viewers from Twitch who don't want to move with me. They're like, they're more into Twitch than they are into me. And I'm sure he did. But apparently just the um, the news and the, like, uh, hype around him and the move to YouTube got him even more viewers. So he has literally just got win, win, win. Uh, he's triple wind by uh, moving over there. So good on him. Um... Anyway, Seven, you take care. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure she's already gone. Um, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, indeed. Indeed, Scotty, because it's a thing, isn't it? Um, I don't... If you make a video private on YouTube, I don't know if you can like just give people access, certain people access to it to work with your patreon i don't know um yeah no, yes c star is three average viewers it's no joke it took me two and a half months to meet those two requirements um you know first two weeks of me streaming nobody there i spent all two weeks talking to myself i knew i wasn't discouraged because i knew what i was signing up for um you know, I'm just lucky. Because there's people who have been doing that for a year or two and they still do it. Um, it's, it's very difficult. One K in the next year. <laughs> uh, oh, well, on on Twitch, maybe C start. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. It's just like a milestone. It doesn't really mean anything. I've seen, you know, I've seen channels that have thousands of followers, like, you know, multiple thousands or even tens of thousands, and they have less, less average viewers than we do here. Uh, and also, I'm like, eh, okay, I don't, maybe, <laughs> obviously, you, you you got a lot of eyeballs on you at one point in the past, and people were excited for a brief moment, but they're not excited enough to still be here, are they? You know, no judgment or offense and i'm not like i don't look at my own stream and be like ah oh, this is the, this is the dog's bollocks this this is nib god it is nib show oh it's it's the best thing ever because um because it's not <laughs> uh plus that would be freaking weird uh yeah you know, that's like looking at yourself in the mirror being like i've never seen so and so amazingly handsome um even if that was true, which it clearly isn't, um, that'd be a weird thing to do. 
Yeah. Are you, oh, you still working on your affiliate route? You just have to just um, just keep going. You um, don't put too much emphasis on the importance of it. Um, especially because I assume route, and you correct me if I'm wrong. You know, your channel is a fun thing for you to do. It's your hobby. It's you know, you work you work a full time job. You know, so. You're not like some weirdo like me who's like, eh, this is my career. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, if anyone here is not following Root, I don't know what to say. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. That's something that good that Twitch did recently. Lowered out the payout threshold. You know, you're not getting more money, but it means you if you're getting... Uh, if you're getting less money as a streamer, you uh, can potentially get your hands on it more frequently. Um, anyway, welcome back, L. Hopefully the dog walk was good. Um, oh, sorry, that was my uh, enunciation there. Bollocks. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think you have bollocks in the US, do you? Um, that's uh, a British uh, saying for, uh, you know, testicles um and the dog's testicles is i don't know why because i don't really want a anyone's testicles near me let alone a dog's uh <laughs> let alone i'm not like admiring them like, it, it means it's very very good um like the bee's knees the dog's bollocks <laughs> um yeah let's just put that one out we learned something new today there you go <laughs> Oh, you are. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it's just my silly, it's my stupid uh, enunciation. The cat's meow. Yeah, you know it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the dog's buttocks. <laughs> I mean, it depends if the dog works out, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, roughly. This is true. This is true, Af. Um, Oh, bless you. Best thing ever. Calm yourself, Atheline. Um, There you go. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not for me to say. Um, it was wet, was it? Yeah. Well, good on you, Elf, for getting out there. Some people will be like, oh, it's raining out. I don't want to walk the dog. And the dog's like, I don't care, and I need to be walked. I don't... Um. Uh, I've never owned a dog, but... Unfortunately, but... um. I'm I'm distinctly unimpressed by dog owners who do not, you know, have, owning a dog is a commitment, which takes effort and time. You have to look after, you have to care for them, you have to look after them, you have to train them, you have to walk them every day, really. Um, you know, I guess it depends on the dog. If you've got like a little micro dog thing, uh, <laughs> entity, then it maybe you know doesn't need to be walked every day. You know, want something that weighs like two grams, you know. Um, there are exceptions. It's not like a hard and fast rule. But as a general rule of thumb, as a dog owner, understand your responsibilities and step up to the plate. So you, your dog needs a walk. It's raining out. You're going to get wet, aren't you? Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Raven looks like a badass route. Uh I would not want to have to try and fight Raven. I don't know that I would end well for me. Um, oh, okay, yeah, okay. And then it's fair enough. Yeah, so if it's raining and Raven's like, no, I don't. Maybe Raven's smart. Um, I've got this, you know, a lot of dogs are kind of just like a bit dopey, aren't they? They're like, oh, let's do this. Let's do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless. <laughs> um, bless. Bless her. Anyway, guys, ram rambling on. Gosh, you're an hour and 20. How would you do this to me? I hope you enjoyed it. It's now time for Elden Ring. Okay. <laughs> but keep, you can keep talking. I will I will uh, get get on you. Don't, uh, don't worry about that. That's what I'm here for. Right. We have to go and um, do with fake Godric. And see if we can beat him. Because if we can't beat the fake version, we ain't going to be able to beat the, the big version, are we? So, let's give it a go. Here we go. Yes, 100... 
113 deaths. Um, one second. I'm a rambling man, Af. There we go. Um, I'll ramble around. You don't need to worry about that. Let's sort this cam out. So, there we go. God, I can't believe it's Friday already. Yeah, it's going to be rambling about different things. That's all. I'm going to be like rambling like, Oh no! I died again! Right. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, we're heading down here. Uh, now, I don't know if we can maybe summon our pet wolves to... um. To help with the uh, fake Godric. No, only 113 at the minute, Sky. I mean, if you guys want to take predictions, how many it'll be by the time we finish? <laughs> it might be. It might be as many as 741. All right, here he is. The, the scum. Now I think he's got a few buddies hanging around with him. We cannot summon wolves. Okay. Okay, there's the dog guys. I don't think they'll wake up unless we go in there. Oh, here we go. Okay. He's uh, he's trying, trying to duck down here is. That's not helping us in any way, shape or form. Alright, putting up his little shield, eh? My god, he's so chonk. What was that, bro? Oh, oh, okay. The freaking dog guys are coming out to play. Okay. okay, well, we learned a lesson. Him stomping around will wake the dog guys up. So we got to kill those first. Attack was nuts. So I guess we saw him winding up for it. He's um, he's a he's a chunky old boy. Oh, here's what I should do. This would uh, probably help. Maybe save a bit of time. I can't ride, ride the elevator down. And then when I get down there, just send it back up. Pull the, uh, pull the, uh, the, uh, little, uh, lever each time. Right. 
I guess it'd be ideal if we could at least get like maybe a sneak attack on him. Oh. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Not like a, uh, I mean a quick sneak attack. Just get up behind him to get one big chunky hit hit on him. Um. Excellent. All right, Scotty. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Did you know about that, guys? Check it out. Um. Yeah, a few weeks away. What time is that for me? Is that seven? Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, I might need to. Uh, might need to change up our red dwarf watch party for that on a sunday i have to adjust the time slightly um yeah uh scotty and uh cage's uh podcast Ar arcade gaming memories uh they just interview people about um games that were influential video games were influ influential or uh nostalgic to uh to uh certain people and uh yeah obviously uh doom is uh very uh very important to me in that regard certainly Even sure how to best fight this thing. I was saying yesterday, you um, maybe I'll just need to. Sc scream does damage. going for his uh, ultra attack. Damn, bruh. Yeah, I've been meaning to do it for a little while. Just uh, Scotty reminded me the other day. Yeah, and if you need any more footage, Scotty, I, I was, that was just the f first episode of the first game. And it wasn't... Uh, and it played on yeah, yeah, so many re releases of that game. Oh, let's go the right way. There we go. Um... Yeah, I was, I was, at first I was like, oh yeah, I'll just load it up on the PC, but then I'll have to um, mess around on installing uh, Brutal Doom and, and such, but, uh, which would be slightly annoying. But yeah, I still had it on the Xbox, so it's all good. I don't even know this guy is just so kind of chonky and constantly attacking i don't know really how best to get at him not like that obviously we saw that coming or oh, he heard me
I have no idea what well, the best thing to do really is. Not that. That doesn't really help, does it? Whoa. Okay, bro. But even his screen does damage. I mean... I definitely need more vigor, because I'm... Um, my uh, flasks are uh, not getting the full uh, advantage of what... Uh, they uh, need. Yeah, so much for... I'm not going to be able to... Stun him either, am I? Yeah, that wasn't any good. Yeah, if I take one to give one, it's the battle of attrition will not go in my favour. a reasonable amount of damage but not enough to kill him with like this whoa 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 the fuck I don't even sense the end yeah we get a f that's how a flask does like a full heal basically Okay, that's uh, all our magic missiles done. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, no more heals. Okay, we've uh, he's more than half dead. Freaking awkward to fight. So even if I can't really put do a counter because he, his attack range, his reach, is far exceeds my own. Uh oh, you know what that means, do you? God damn it. Just getting in on him. It's real, real awkward. God, look at my health. Fuck my life. Now, can I? I don't have my bow equipped, do I? I do not want to be stuffed there like that. Fuck. Oh. No, no, I appreciate that. I mean, we could do it right after the uh, Red Dwarf Watch Party. Oh, how would yeah? I think that would be like half an half an hour after schedule. Oh, unless you need someone to set up an hour, up to you. Or I can move that uh forward a bit. It's uh it's up to you, Scotty. I don't mind. It's uh, it's a one off, so I couldn't we can uh, adjust as need be. Okay, that's one sixteen. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty good run though. I'm starting to slowly get the uh the vibe of him.
Wait, you can sneak on these, can you? Okay, maybe you can. Well, that was unfortunate. That's already one heal lost, but... I'm not going to... Let that, uh... Dissuade me. Oh, he's wandering over there, is he? I wonder if he's got friends over there, hasn't he? Though? That's the only issue. Yeah, like that could have uh, gone for uh, a counter, but it wouldn't have uh, really uh, mattered because they'll be out completely out of range. So far, so good. Yes, you're very angry. I understand. Hmm. That's not good. So he's very careful to uh, back off um, when I've uh, when he doesn't attack. So very clever, very clever AI. Ah, just let you sword down for one second. Oh my god! Oh shizzle! I don't think I saw him do that before. Ah. Too much. It's too much. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I feel doing it on stream poots gives you more patience. Um. Uh. No, that should be fine. Yeah, if we, if I. Because I assume you need like an hour, uh, like half an hour prep time before you go live, uh, Sky. So, uh, yeah, so if you push it back an hour to go live, as soon as Red Dwarf is done, I can immediately jump into chat with you and Cage to get prepped. Um, and then that still that won't be too late. That should be perfectly fine. <clears throat> yeah, if I was playing this off stream, please, I'd be like, ah, this fucking game, uh, and just <laughs> kind of, uh, kind of like, uh, just kind of maybe give up on it and do something else. <laughs> So I've got to do some damage to him with my uh, magic missiles, but I kind of want, would like to. I'd prefer to. Uh, I feel it, if I use them first, jeez, oh to knock him down a little bit, that'll uh, technically put more pressure on me. Um, 
when I'm trying to get stuck in. If I go with the melee to start with, I mean, that being said, he's uh, right there. I mean, can I use this to my advantage, maybe? have no problem cheesing this guy if uh, if I can feel bad for him but he's scum so <laughs> i don't i'll speak too soon okay that's done Force me to uh, go out there with him. Like I say, I feel that he's a calibre of an enemy where once we kill him, he's probably going to be deaded. So, okay, there you go. This is how you cheese this guy, then, folks, if you are interested for future reference. Thousand one hundred seventy-six souls. Okay, runes. Okay, I wasn't planning to cheese him, but never mind. And he drops absolutely nothing. So, uh, for the sake of curiosity, I'm just gonna go. Um, I'm going to do a little rest and see if he respawns. He might do. And then he's a standard enemy who's not worth fighting for, to grind uh, runes. I'm just, I'm just very, very curious if he's uh, permanently gone. I've seen a couple of big enemies out in the wilderness that once you've killed them, they are gone. Just uh, all for the data. I wanted to step out for a minute, guys, actually. As it's been like almost two hours into the stream. and uh... Yeah, cool. He's permanently gone. He's gone forever. Good. Well worth it. Good job. Um... Okay, so we're going to jump over here. Obviously, I'm not allowed to cheese Godric like that. So if he moves and fights like that guy, but he's just a tougher version, could have my hands full, to say the least. On the flip side of that coin, we may be able to summon our wolves, and we may there may even be like a ran Rogier or an, another uh, rando uh, enemy uh, enemy uh, summon might be there to help as well. So uh, we shall see. Um, I'm going to step out for one minute, guys. One sec.
Well, uh, yeah, I wasn't planning on uh, cheesing that guy, but sometimes uh, that's the way these uh, things work out. Right, okay, we are going to be... Oh, we already went there. Okay, here we go. So the two things left for us to do in this castle are force our way through the courtyard here through all these fortifications through all these guys to potentially not even necessarily get anything maybe do well, there's an item right there i wonder if i can uh, be clever and uh run and grab that and run back in fact i'm inclined to do that let's fight this doggo first Run, grab that item. I don't want to fight this big boy. Oh. Oh. Is that just scenery? I thought that was uh, an item. I wonder if this big boy... Uh Is uh, deaded after the fact. Okay, I'm using his statues uh, against him. Seems to be working. There we go. Oh no! We killed him, he killed us. <laughs> we killed each other. Yeah, we did a little cheese there, Red Mage. Accidental, I didn't mean to. Uh, but then I was like, well, we're in this situation now, so... Fuck this guy. I'll take his life. Uh, wouldn't cheese... <laughs> um... Uh, enemies that, like, respawned, but, uh... Like I wonder, if, I wonder if that big guy is uh, been been a big chunky boy is is gone now. He might not be. It's uh, hard to tell with that guy. No, it's not. So I've got to run down and get my runes, haven't I? At least. Um, this yeah, it's so weird that though that like glow in that statue there. I was, I, was, I thought it was an item. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just the statues in this world have glow in them. I'm inclined to try and fight this guy, though. Take an advantage of the scenery. Because mm -hmm. I want to have a proper look at that. And I'm not going to do that while he's stood here, am I? So 
So as you can see, you um the uh the glintstone missile pebble. <laughs> right. right. Can uh definitely um Oh can definitely miss it has a bit of a, a homing effect on it but if they're moving around quickly Really? After all that, so close. Oh my God. <laughs> See, I can't tell if he does or doesn't respawn because it might not have counted as we died as he was dying. One hit off, idiot. I need to get good. Um. Uh, Lalsk. Uh, uh, Lalsk. Co. Uh, how you doing there, Laos? Um, are you, uh, sorry, are you asking what you should play? I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's bit, <laughs> I should, well, I assume you must have played, have you played Elden Ring a bunch? I would, uh, and obviously no one's played God of War because it's just come out, so I would probably say God of War. Plus, I guess that's probably got less replayability, so that's what I would probably go for. Can't you come back to this afterwards, can't you? I, I would assume however good the God of War games are and the new one. They're kind of like one and done. I would assume. Okay, okay let's, let's do this properly now. Okay. I was about to say, interestingly, he doesn't aggro you, but he does. Kind of uh, the jumping strong attack can kind of slightly stun him for a second, even though he's a uh, he's a big boy. There we go. Okay, 450 runes, not worth uh, messing around with. Right. Um. Oh, game of the year. I don't know. You tell me, buddy. 
you, you tell me. I, uh, I've never played a God of War game, let alone the new one. Um, right, so what is that? That, I mean... I feel, I feel like there's something inside the statue, right? But... Well, maybe not. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else could do. I don't know whether we could... Um, we had to make him like, attack it, but... I mean, I'm sure he hit it several times, didn't he? Weird. Okay, so that door there we've already been in. Um... Let's... Uh, all right, how many, uh, how many runes do we have? Okay, not enough to worry about. Okay, so let's start heading up here, which I assume is going towards uh, Godric. But yeah, how was the uh, how was Ragnarok, and how did it compare to the uh, the previous one? Um, might need some magic on that. I don't know. Let me uh, let me go have a quick rest. I've already activated that. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure... Um, I'm sure it's amazing. Looks, sounds, plays amazing. But... Um, for me personally, I feel that... Um, Action-adventure games, while I do love them... They have like a glass ceiling... For, for my appreciation... Um, which, uh, RPGs don't necessarily, but that's just, that's just personal preference. Right, now come, all right, scum of the earth, here we go. Oh, wow, really? Fire me up, boy. God, those burbs. Scum! But, uh, I had to use a heal, but we got through it. Oh, there's another one. He got another one. Okay. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought I was blasting through that. Do not like magic, though, do they? Go. Nice uh, round 20. Damn, nice. Because I heard the first one was amazing. Um, yeah, and we were talking about this the other day. We said, Elden Ring doesn't have a story, does it? It just has lore, which I like. Some people don't. Whereas, obviously, God of War has an actual story. Um, yeah, it could go either way, of course. So as long as you enjoyed them both, now. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, I've played Skyrim. I, I played it, uh, when it was released. Um, strangely enough, I'm actually playing it off stream again at the moment. Um, yeah, Skyrim, excellent game. Right. I'm gonna just... Out of range. Rip. 
Oh, I just lost out runes. Never mind. Now I've got the pressure. That's one thing. I, f I can't help but feel more pressure in combat when I'm trying to get back to lost runes. But then I die and they're gone. Then I've got nothing to lose. So that takes the pressure off slightly. Um, really? Yeah, so... Um, I had it on my list, uh, Laos, um, and it got voted in like, by the producers, and I uh, went down a rabbit hole, and we eventually started playing it on PC modded, uh, which was a, a cool, fun experience. We did about two weeks of it, but then someone pointed out to me uh, Wabberjack, um, and if you know about that, I've looked it up, um, and I was like, oh, it's a like curated mod lists with easy install everything sorted out for you everything works i was like hell yeah this is going to be better than what i throw together uh, and there's a massive massive mod list um called lost legacy that's just released uh, its 1.1 version the other week i've been playing that um not far into the game but it's freaking amazing by my reckoning absolutely loving it Unfortunately, probably don't have time to, um... Oh my god. <laughs> don't have time to stream it. I can stream it if the producers vote for a, a block of time of it. But I, I have no means to show the whole playthrough. There's just not enough hours in the day. Um, but yeah, amazing game. Amazing. I'm really enjoying it. Looks amazing. Plays amazing. Uh, all the extra content that's in it is ridiculous. I mean, Vanilla Skyrim is an amazingly chunky game anyway, but... Quite quite the experience. Alright, okay, let's try this again. Yeah, let's pick up my zero runes. Hey. Flyers. I'm just trying to get through these. I'm hoping that there will be one more um, grace before the boss. So, although, I don't think we need to go that way, do we? Okay, I think I think we do, but let me just poke my little nose up here for a second. Okay. Cool, yeah, just to get this. Some smithing stones. Nice. Oh. Oh, where'd you come from, big boy? I don't know. Did he drop down on us? Was, he, was that him sat there and I thought he was a corpse? I mean, it's probably easier for you to uh, ask what I, I have or haven't played, honestly, Laos. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the Elder Scrolls, um, the Fallout, the Bethesda games, for all their bugs and all their criticism, they are kind of my favourites. We've recently played the Dragon Age trilogy. Um, Dark Souls trilogy is a favourite of mine. Final Fantasy series, we've covered all of that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, asshole. It's probably, um, oh wow, he's blew himself up. Good job. <laughs> uh, But yeah, I mean, there might be some obvious ones I haven't played. But I've probably also played a bunch of... Uh, 
lesser known ones as well. I'm uh, quite a fan of like the more retro um, Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, uh, Illusion of Gaia. You know, those um, SNES era gems. They're definitely on that list. Uh, any any JRPG I will give a go. Um, any RPG I'll give a go, uh, I guess. If I had to choose one genre, I guess that would be it. All right, got some golden runes. Right now, is this? Be proud. Oh. You were a fine warrior. Your Who? only mistake was your choice of master. Let oh. the winds lift you to a higher place. Okay. She just killed this knight. Well. Who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. No. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. Let's be friends. I'm here by decree of my father. Okay. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. Agreed. He's tainted the very winds. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. Cool. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Uh, thank you, uh, Nephi. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Agreed. Apologies, as fellow okay. down whatever road takes So she's, uh, fellow tarnished like us. It's gonna help us fight Godric. Nice. That's cool. I wonder if she only does, and you know, she only appears as a summon if you um talk to her in there. I would ass probably assume so. Um. Uh, munching on urchins. Hello there, uh, munching. <laughs> Welcome in. Uh. Yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, Laos. I'm the same. I'll give everything a fair shake. It's just, um... I'm drawn to single player over multiplayer. Um, Co-op over competitive. RPG over, uh, you know, random arcade game. Story over lack of story. Um, you know, I like leveling, I like f finding, exploring, I like you know, finding treasure and also, you know, whatever else. So the Souls games definitely, uh, lend themselves to me. Oh! Done bloody well. That's our very first golden seed we found, guys. Thank you, Erd Tree. Sprout. Oh, sh um, Ryan, thank you for the gifts up there. Um, there you go, Lowell. She got a little uh, chocolate better. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. Right. Now, one thing I've. We fought a sub-boss of a troll. Giant, wherever he is. Um, but I've not fought one out in the open. Either out in the open world or um, in the castle. I'm wondering, being big boys, whether they are like one and done. So if we kill it, then it will no longer be here. Um... So I feel we should try and fight it. If at all possible. But he does seem to be asleep. Yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> Got a target. Target wasn't working. I'm going to find these little, little guys one-on-one. -on -one.
We can sneak by him. Seems to be asleep. But he's very tired. <laughs> Ryan, I hope you feel better soon, buddy. Is it related to your throat? Is it, uh, something else? Oh, he woke up. He woke up. Oh, shh. Whoa. Okay. One at a time, yeah? Oh my god. That doesn't really bother him, does it? <laughs> Oh wait, I can probably... Now I've got myself in this situation. I don't really want to, but... I we just stood here. I kind of feel bad for him. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not planning to cheese these things, uh, Red Mage, but when they're presenting themselves like this. Yeah, he's upset now. He's like, Are you shooting me in the leg all day? I'm like, Yes. Can I sit here? <laughs> uh of course you can. Munchkin, thank you. How you doing there, buddy? Are you a fan of this game? I assume you are. He's like, seriously, come out here and fight me. And I'm like, seriously, look at the size of you, bro. He's still getting it. <laughs> uh, th Ryan, thank you. And this is not pretty, guys, but you know what's going to happen if I try and fight him. <laughs> like, with skill. <laughs> That's not a thing I'll have. Now, if he respawns, I'm not going to do this again because it's ridiculous. Um, wow. Well, that was a waste of ammo. <laughs> Nelfie behind us there. She's like, what a noob. You're going to fight Godric. <laughs> Um, there you go, man. You can have a little chocobo for a bit. Don't eat him unless you're about to starve. Oh, yeah, Witcher 3. When, yeah, Laos, when Witcher 3 came out, I, and I was playing it, I was like, this is the best game I've ever played. Um, I don't know if that's like entirely true, but. God, he, he just shouted at us. That freaking giant. <laughs> he just shouted us to death. Oh my god. Alright, back to it. Let's not summon the wolves to get up there, but that, I assume we can summon the wolf. I don't know. That's a, it all, this all depends on whether um, there is. Uh, Oh my god.
It all depends if there's um <clears throat> a sight of grace, like further on. If there's, and I don't think it didn't look as though there was. But I need to know if that giant is a a one kill. Um, so I suppose I could pull out the wolves just to ch test that theory. We shall see. I need to I need to find out that out first. Um. So what happened, Root? Sorry, some random person just walked into your apartment. What the hell? That's uh weird. Yeah. Okay. As long as I'm in the... it, it wasn't just a weird, honest mistake. It wasn't someone trying to be weird. Which I guess that's better than if like a random guy walks in and and he's like, oh, I wonder if I can get some free stuff in here. Um. Oh my god. I need a better weapons than this axe for these guys. I've already got a hand. She a badass is Raven. Yeah, we're burning up in here. <laughs> Maybe the spear. It's got a bit more reach. Maybe the spear for these flies. Let's try. Oh, it's not what I wanted to do, was it? Okay, we'll just take a death there. Oh, my, uh... Screen tongue go through. So that was twenty five, right? I'm deleting it before I'm paying attention to it. Um There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I did not mean to dual wield my fucking shield there. I'm sure you uh Understand that. Obviously, press the wrong thing. Crying out loud. Can't get a break.
<laughs> oh, is it Witcher 4 being confirmed? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 100%, Ryan. Keep an eye out. Um... Continue around your Xbox. <laughs> yeah, they are. I I guess maybe we'll um. Obviously, I'm trying to save my uh. Well, yeah, so we're just gathering data at the minute, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I'll just I'll just shoot him. Oh, I need to use my seed as well, don't I? Oh, wake up the big boy. So not my intention right there. Now, is he going to stomp all the way back here? I guess he is, isn't he? Oh, sh can you get up here? Probably. Yes, he can. Ah, uh, okay, he's going to drop down. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, not. Not really what I intended there. I feel like I do need to uh, kill him though to see if he's uh, one and done. Apologies, as fellow yeah. town, whatever. <laughs> no apologies, necessary. I guess I should just try and fight him, really. I mean, I don't have to cheese him, do we? It's just very, uh, just so stumpy. Although, standing in an area is technically cheesing him. Single sweep. Stomp. Oh my 
my god. Or oh, fine. The problem is, you f I feel like you need to be locked onto one of his body parts to get like a decent. Um... Oh, hit him in the head there. He didn't like that. But obviously, the new camera can uh, very much work against you. Um. Nope. Yeah, he didn't like it, did he? Okay. Problem is, fighting, doing all this out in the open, though. That's my, uh... Oh, he's pulled his sword out. Oh, my God. come this far I just want to get rid of him <laughs> why um struggling to uh, use his crossbow there. I don't know why you get d two different slots for bolts. How you switch between them. Does anybody know offhand how you change which bolts you're using? Because I can see it down there in the bottom left. You've got 0 and 85 and he's trying to shoot his 0. No idea, honestly. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Range on it. My God. Yeah, I don't know. Um. So for now, as I don't know, I'm just gonna I'll just switch them over like that. So now I should be able to. Wait, where did he go? So back to the way up. Yeah, okay. Holy hell. This guy could be the boss. Right, 1,000 runes. I mean... <laughs> okay. If you say so. <laughs> right, yeah. Sorry about the cheese there, folks. Uh... drop anything I don't know it doesn't look like it okay 
I steal with his little buddies. Hopefully. There is not a sight of grace by the looks of it. Oh. Or it or is there? There is. Oh my god, thank God for that. Uh and there we go. And there's uh there's uh oh wow, dual wield axe. Nelfie's uh summon son. Okay. Not how I wanted to do it. Uh the fact that the sight of grace is there suggests maybe the giant does respawn. I don't know. Either way. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not good at this game. Um, there we go. Number first golden seed. Number of flask uses up to four to up to five. Done. Well. Um, and we're not. Don't really need feeling the need of FP at the minute. Or I'd rather just have more heals. He does respawn. Screw that guy. Thank God. Before the. <laughs> Uh, for the sight of grace there. of war stormcaller i'll look at that in a minute because we've got a little pot of friends here hello oh they don't want to fight us are they no they're friend oh oh you're not friendly oh whoa 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 oh big pot as well i'm i've met one of these guys and they were friendly these guys aren't okay well Screw you. Okay, chonk, obviously. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dear. We could have been friends. We didn't want to be. Living jar shard. Raw meat dumpling. Got all sorts of things. Right. Um. So we have to look at all that stuff. Uh, it's gonna be—is it crafting material? Fragment of a living jar hardened after its death. Such fragments command a high price due to the magical power locked within. This leaves living jars unfortunate targets for poachers. Now we met one. Uh, I can't remember his name. We made friends with him, but here's some wild ones who are just like, screw you, buddy. And it's like, well, okay. If you insist. Oh, yeah, we are also maybe supposed to be taking that back to um, the girl 
at the uh, round table hold, I think, maybe. Right, and the, anyway, the Ash of War, let me have a look. Um, Storm Wall. No, not wasn't it. This is one, wasn't it? Storm Caller. Grants an armament, the quality, affinity, and the following skill, Stormcaller. One of the skills that channel the Tempest of Stormvale. Spin armament to create a surrounding storm wind to create sound surrounding storm winds. Repeated input allows uh, for up to two follow up attacks. Use one swords capable of slashing axes, hammers, and pole arms. No small or colossal weapons, so. Interesting. And uh, was, we had a chunk of meat as well, didn't we? There's some stuff to sell as well. There you go. Raw meat dumpling. A pungent raw meat ball. Made succulent by virtue of being on the verge of turning. <gasps> the response hit points, but also poisons the user. <laughs> I mean, not recommended for those who prefer to know the origin of their meats. Yeah, so I think we maybe won't eat that. Interesting, though. Nice right, more cookery. There. Okay, before I deal with them, let me just have a little look out here. This is the main elevator, isn't it? Seems to be. So if we use that, that should unlock it for later. Although now we've got the sights of grace, I don't see that that being a, that is a massive benefit to anything. But it's not the point, is it? Um, very well. Okay, you cannot backstab these things. <laughs> All right, okay. So I think that's everything. Um, what, those ones back there? Well, they would have talked to us. Okay. Right. Um, before we go and have a word with Godric, I just want something I want to check at the... Uh, Round table hold, uh, briefly. That was it. There we go. XYA. Nice.
So I think that weird me memento key item might be related to that girl we met who was talking about our friends who got grafted. We'll, uh, we'll have a look. Pleasure to see you. Thank goodness you're safe. I'm still looking for my own purpose. It's not easy by any means, but it's what I must do. <coughs> okay. It's all a bit much for me. And I'm Maybe not looking. then. It's all I'm still looking. Okay. Never mind. Nice. Not found uh, his friend yet. Okay, maybe not. Okay, um, how many, uh, all right. so we've got another spell or two we can buy. Not even have the item yet, that's not the point. Uh. Okay, just two more from that guy. May the golden order shine through you. Yes, thank you. Here we go. Right, okay. Um, I think we've got to prepare to die several times here. Now, I assume he, we've had some experience fighting his buddy, haven't we? And we're going to be able to summon our wolves and also um, uh, Nelfi. Is that the name? Nelfi? So let's, uh, nothing to lose. Let's give it a go. What if this is going to be of some buddies? Mighty oh. dragon. There is a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O oh kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. She has got six fingers. <laughs> well. Oh dear. I am the Lord of all that is golden. Oh, okay. Seems to be like somewhat different. Don't stand a chance. He's a beast. He's completely different to uh, how he was at the start of the game. Oh, check that. Maybe that's the way to go. Um, 
Right, maybe try out uh, our crappy little wizard. Maybe. Yeah, it seems like the wolf's... Um, his AOE just tears right through them. Although Nelfi was doing all right, wasn't she? She's doing better than we were. <laughs> um, managed to stagger him, though. That was pretty cool. Let's have a look. Um, we got a little jellyfish. Poison. Yeah, I don't know if that'll work. Um, right, these two can't even summon them. Um, I guess the crappy uh, noble. Plus, that would leave us a decent amount of. Um, a decent amount of FP to potentially get a few magic missiles off ourselves. If we need to, but I think it's better to save that just in case uh, Nelfi dies. Let's try him out. Um, and so, presumably, in a mage, you just like hang back and do nothing. Yeah, cheap, cheapest chips. Keep him away from the AOEs, don't we? It's got weird as old attack pattern. jumped right into that. You yeah, have to watch out for that. Oh, nice. Um, oh, did she get the... Uh... Oh, cutscene. Is he going to power up? Yeah, he is, isn't he? Oh, he, chonk he chonked an arm off. He doesn't seem happy, does he? He's going to glue a dragon onto his arm. Lend me thy strength. Oh, dear. Here we go. Oh, wow, he's literally... I was joking! <laughs> I was joking! He's literally glued a dragon's head onto his arm. Wow, okay, this is... Oh, wow, okay, this is... That's very cool and disturbing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Range on that, bruh. There's so little damage there. Okay, now we're out. 
Which uh, kind of makes sense. Oh, Nelfie's out of it. And a noble sorcerer's out of it. It's just me and him. Uh, oh no! Unless you have to, the idea is you want to get behind him when he's using that. Could have gone for a counter there, but. Who's Godfrey? If he's Godric, maybe that's his uh, dad or something. Um. <laughs> Yo, Coptimus, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I can't. I literally joked. I was like, "What's he gonna do? Glue a dragon onto his arm?" And then he went and did it. <laughs> but yeah, we're. Uh... Wow, he's tough. He's extra tough in that second incarnation there. Okay. But I feel like the uh, the little wizard guy, he was doing such pitiful amounts of damage. But he was he was going. It, <laughs> uh, Godric didn't give a damn about him. Uh, he's just like, yeah, what's going on here? I don't care. So I think he might be the, um, the summon of choice in this battle. Yeah, that buck. Nope. It's that stupid wind attack. It's worth the crit doesn't really do much. Oh wow, nice. Uh Cheetah for Bay. Uh how are you doing? Uh, oh, we can, we can skip this. Um, yeah, I'm doing well. Welcome in. Um, yeah, we shall see. I'm gonna. I'm try. I'll do my best, cop. He's got his dragon hand though now. It's a bit, a bit more difficult. Yeah, look this. This look at the range on this shit. I mean. Oh. Oh, you get off her. Oh, can you... He's got eye frames while he's doing that. What? What an asshole. Oh, I died. <laughs> Deeper notice there. Um, that's unfortunate. He's grabbed hold of her, and I'm just like... Swinging at air. Well, I guess we get eye frames when we're doing crits, aren't we? So, it's, it's only fair. But how are you doing, cop? Are you well, buddy? But yeah, this uh, this is a fun fight, uh, for sure. Okay, 
to uh, just walk into those. What? <laughs> Too windy. Too stormy. Yeah. It's not, well, to be fair, in reality, cop, you're probably going to, if you go and have a shower, probably going to still be fighting the guy by the time you get back. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, out to you, buddy. And then if you just, if you don't have a shower and you stay, you're going to end up having your shower like two, three hours later. So, uh, but <laughs> I don't, you can get me wet. I don't mind getting wet. Right. Let's go. Yeah, he, he had enough of the little wizard then, didn't he? He's like, I'm getting rid of this guy. Survive just about. There we go. Uh, some vigor, but that's it. when you, you need to level up to get vigor, though. Cop, that's the problem. So, unless I go out my way to grind, which there's no, like, good spots to do that, in my opinion, uh, <laughs> then it's is uh, an issue. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, that's jumping over him is not a thing I want to do. Yeah, look at him with his iframes. Oh. Okay. Well, at least we'll learn data. Data, as Parrot would say.
Yeah, but I'll probably need those for later. Come on. <laughs> uh, well, uh, well, um, you know, if I need to do that, I'll need to do that. But we've only fought him like, what, five times now? So, we need to give it another, um, uh, you know, at least another 500 attempts before we even consider that. Uh, <laughs> Getting a bit of a vibe of him, at least. I don't know if the our axe is the uh, best way to go for the fight, but. <laughs> um... Might be better for the staggering uh, potential, but I don't. I don't know if um, it matters much. Obviously, it stops him attacking for a second, but. Um, he doesn't like do that much damage when you do a crit on him. So I don't know if maybe we should uh, try a different um Look there, I wasn't even in range there, so I wonder if a different weapon might be better, like the spear. It's great when I'm in close. better not doing the crit just beating on him just waiting on him a bit you get more actual damage potential i don't know so i'll see what you guys have said in a second oh double flame Oh, whoa, 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 right. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, um, I, I considered getting good. Then it seemed like too much effort. Uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be putting decent damage, and I've got to take the opportunities to, like, when I have a chance to get, like, a full combo going, like, double down on it. Um, let me make sure I've got my... A fire talisman on. I'm sure I have. Um, I do. Yeah, I'm glad we don't have to fight a bunch of crap to uh, get through to him. likes that whirlwind doesn't he uh it seems like nelfie doesn't know how to uh stay away from it also neither do i apparently 
so that's fair. Yeah, does he have enough arms? He feels he doesn't. Or or dragon heads. Uh <laughs> why he uh thought to do that, I'm not uh it's very curious, isn't it? Um That's the, that's the move that seems to be the most of an issue at the minute. As I say, as I get slapped around. Yeah, okay, you got to watch out for that. I stood right next to him. Uh, yes, flame. Oh, I'll, I'll go for some flame. Uh, even like that distance, isn't it? Insane. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's the mage done. I'm going for a crit there. Just I don't know if that was the best idea, or not. it was an idea. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Back out of that, please. What do you want it? Right, okay. I think that's the closest we got. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if um, the AI is uh, aggro's, like, this an actual setting or if it's random. Um, like, it's parameters. Uh, like, I mean, you maybe, like, whoever's doing the most damage gets targeted, that kind of thing. I don't know.
Nasty. <laughs> Not even fit to graft. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm taking it to you. You want to graft me? Cheek of it. Oh, oh, nice. I stunned him there. He's about to do his, uh, his other, not his non windy AoE, wasn't he? Yeah, Nephili just kind of tanks that, unfortunately. She goes on the attack. She puts out some damage. Don't cry about it, bro. Oh, wow. Nephilim's behind him there. That's cool. Out of those flame blasts, got to dodge of those. Oh, all right, ground flamethrower. Stuck on the that shizzle, please. Who's graves are he? Does he reckon? I guess he doesn't care, does he? Oh, <laughs> unfortunate. Oh, 
Oh, I've managed to get through that. Whoa! Oh! Ow! Too much flame! My god. Oh, I see, I see an opening to attack. Maybe getting in close changes his uh, attack pattern. conscious of being near the edge there uh my orientation was all over the place um yeah no 100 percent cop yeah that adds so much more more motivation to just keep going um yeah, yeah totally because you're constantly backing up and circling uh <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, damn, I think we're closer. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah, I don't know how much use the little uh, sorcerer is. He does a few points of damage, I feel. Ugh. Not the best opening there. Teleported then. <laughs> no. Cutscene's gonna stop me getting my jumping strong attack there. He's a bit of a cry baby, I feel. Alright. I've got to make the most of those two being here. But obviously, all this fucking flame. God damn it. I thought I was doing alright then. Dress similar to Jekt. Uh, Red Mage. But uh, no, that's Nephili. Yo, Para, how you doing? We're collecting all the data today, buddy. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Para? Are you well? How's your Friday? Yeah, uh, I think that's only, what is that, about 10 attempts now? Or something like that. It's, um...
It's not feeling insurmountable. It's just uh, balancing, uh, you know, luck with uh, aggression. It's getting out of there when I need to get out of there like that. And uh, getting in when uh, I'm not being targeted. Freaking gravestones. <laughs> oh, big, big AOE. There we go. Oh. Oh. Well, wind. Ow. AOE. Oh, big AOE. Or not? No, he just took his arm off. Um, yo, Akuma. How you doing, buddy? God, doesn't she? She does as well. She's doing better than we are. <laughs> going for it right flame time now we can probably kind of do all right all the time i can keep the other two alive oh oh no we've been nommed on oh this is us dead isn't it Flamey whirlwinds. Right, that's all our heels gone. Oh, more flamey whirlwinds. That's our mage friend. There we go. That was Godric. Thank you so much to uh, Nephili. Well, it couldn't have done it without you, hun. God, uh, I was so... Uh, my God. At the end there. <laughs> um, did you, Sween? How did he get on with it? I don't think we did... Yo, Mike, how you doing? I think... Um, I don't think we did too bad with it. It was only about 10 attempts. That's a fun fight. That's a fun boss. I enjoyed that. Some bosses are tough, but like a pain in the ass. They're annoying. You don't like fighting them. That I enjoyed fighting that guy. Um, uh, Swing, thank you for the bitties as well. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, sounds good. Sounds good, Mike. Enjoy. But um, yeah, that's cool. I was... I was kind of getting strapped in to uh, do this for the next two, three hours, but that's all good. So he got his great rune. Uh, the great rune she received by defeating the shard bearers have lost their beneficial power. However, their power can be restored at divine towers throughout the lands between. See the description of each great rune to discover which divine tower you should visit. Okay. So maybe Godric should have done that himself. So I didn't kick his ass. I didn't do it solo. Um, look at the pa these golden powers making his spear float. 
Uh, new remembrance of the grafted. Ah, is that like going to be the soul, isn't it? Um, so to speak. Um, yeah. Uh, take the power of its namesake via a finger reader. Um, oh, did we take it to the finger reader? Remembers of Godric the Grafted, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. There we go. So, uh, in the Souls series, aside from killing things, you get in Souls XP. Whenever you kill a big boss, you get its soul on top of any XP you get as an item. Um, which can, you can even do one or two things. You can just bosh it, like the other little golden runes you get, and you get an instant boost of XP, souls, runes, straight away. Or, in the Dark Souls series, you could trade them in to uh, craft unique weapons. So it sounds like there's a similar thing going on here on Elden Ring. I can, I can bosh it, I eat it, just gobble it down. Or, the better thing to do is uh, tr apparently trade it into the finger reader and get mm. we'll find out won't we um, a feeble man sought power through the grotesque art of grafting yeah he was feeble wasn't he because it's like if that's if that's the means to your power I want power I'll glue people's arms onto my body <laughs> I feel that you should just go without, you know. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Bloody hell, Ryan. Uh, yeah, all the coffee. I want to be drowning in coffee. I want a swimming pool of fine coffee. Thanks to Ryan. Bless you, Ryan. Um, yeah, we just saved two to three hours, basically, Red Hedge. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Slick Mick, how you doing, buddy? Um... Oh, duplicate the rune. How on? Uh, so you have. So you got three options. But if you're duplicating it, does that mean you have two? So isn't? But surely that's the best thing to do, not to not use it. So you can do both. I don't know. We'll find out. But um, we were told back at the. Um, Back at uh, the round table hold. Go back and see that guy. Once we've got a great rune, which we have. Uh, that's not it. That's the remembrance. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sorry, that's that's the great rune. Um, and that will... Uh, you know, that will prove our worth to that bro there. And he'll let us into the inner sanctum and consider us... Uh, 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 no, one of the real members rather than just one of the other uh, tarnished hanging around. Um, but thank you so much, Ryan. I appreciate that. You're alive, I sleep, mate. That's, um, that's number one on the checklist. How am I doing? Number one. Are you alive? Yes. Tick. There you go. That's where you start and you take it from there. Now, you may not have anything else on the checklist. But if you've got number one, it's something to work with. Um, yeah, so what sh what do I need to do? Oh, the, the great rune. So the great rune is a key item, isn't it? But the remembrance, I can either bosh it for runes. Don't want to do that. Um, or I can do something with it, including duplicate it, according to Cop. Um Yeah, I'm not inclined to just eat it. Although we probably get a, a bunch of runes. Uh, we got 15k just from killing him. That'll get us some vigor there, cop. Uh, <laughs> if you want. Uh, if you're excited about it. Oh. Oh, and we got Grace as well in his area. Which seems slightly unnecessary, but... That's this one just round the corner there. The game gonna do what the game wanna do. Um, so these towers, that's one, right? Uh, 
I think maybe I saw one in the distance up this way. I don't know if I've seen any of the other towers. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, maybe that will get explained to us. Okay. I am... Um, I'm about to spring a leak here, guys. And as we're halfway through the stream... Um, I'll, uh, I'll go make coffee as well. Might as well. So, we'll take our mid-stream break here. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, so the the only way you would use the Remembrance just for the runes is if whatever... It's basically New Game Plus. If whatever use of the, remem the other use you uh, didn't uh, need. But yeah, that's... The th whether it's an item or some other benefit, we'll do that. Uh, 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 come and go. Yo, Lily! How you doing, Lily? You know, my dear. Good to see you stream yesterday. I'm glad you uh, you enjoying Borderlands 2. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just go north. Yeah, indeed. We shall do that. But anyway, sorry, Lily. You just come in. I'm about to go on a quick break. I will, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, that's true, Parrot. But I'm a little bit OCD in these games. Like, I... If there's a an equipment I want it in my inventory even if I'm never going to use it so say like for example if, imagine that remembrance gives you like a hundred thousand runes Ryan thank you for the gift sub sir um imagine it gives you like 100k runes or you can trade it in for a weapon that's real real crap and doesn't isn't worth having I'd still rather have that because I'm weird, but I, I, yeah, it's how it how it goes. <laughs> um, I'll be a couple of minutes, guys. One sec.
Right, uh, sorry for the delay there. Thank you for your patience. I have returned. Let's uh, move on. But yes, uh, Parrot, I, you know, for better or... I, yeah, I guess I'm a man of principle. Uh, the principles don't always make sense. Or are... I mean, I guess they're coherent. They're not always sensible. Uh, or tactically sound. <laughs> But yeah, um, I mean, yeah, that's just, I don't know, that's how I work in certain video games. Right, okay, so um, I guess as we're right here, we might as well have a look. Um, I guess, is this the first tower? Is the first great, great rune, the tower for it, right next to it? Is that the idea? I um, can't believe we just pulled that dragon's head off. I guess the dragon was still working. Maybe it was okay with it. Um, there's not going to be any random items hidden around out here, is there? I don't think so. Um, yeah, it'd be weird if there was in the, the battle arena. Okay, let's go. Um, I don't know. I, I, okay, we're not, uh, not, we're up to 1,300. And <laughs> uh, it's roughly about 10, I think. 10 or so, Ryan. Um, no, roast away. I need, I need to put points into Vigor. I, I, that's the thing, just being able to take more hits just goes a long way, doesn't it? Actually, I should have rested at that because I don't know really what I'm walking into. So let me just quickly sit down. And I'm not even necessarily inclined to spend our points there on leveling. I want to see what stuff we can buy at the uh, round table hold. Um, yeah, no, I'm not... Yeah, no, but not... Uh, yeah, the principle of having the eye... Oh. Hello. Lord, you were <laughs> uh, craven to the bone. He wasn't craven, he's a weird eye. Like that. And after all that grafting, where did that get you? Is that what's left of it? On me, would you? Godric, you filthy slug. Feel it. Feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. Oh. Hello there. This weasel was... Godric was always looking down on me. Wasn't he your king? He I bloody deserve thanks to you. Indeed. I tell you though, what goes around comes around. Eventually. He had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? Indeed. Yeah, look at him. He's not very good. Yes, yeah, so, funny. Oh, Gate Gatekeeper Gostock purchase. Oh, okay. I don't know if I need or want any of this. Um, right, so he's got this, the silver pickled fe uh, feet. 2,000 bloody runes each. No thanks. Rune fragments. Furl calling finger remedy. Not really there. Festering blood fingers. Uh, feathers. I'm not paying 500 runes for those. I would uh, I'd farm them if I need them. Um, ah, Cestus, Cestus, I'm not sure the pronunciation of that, Cestus, I guess it is, um, little, uh, punching a weapon, aren't they, um, yo, Nightmare, how you doing, um, uh, Buckler, I don't think we have, Bandit's Garb, ah, okay, Bandits, uh, manchettes, hand wraps, I guess, and uh, boots. So, um, okay, blister bolts, arrows. Okay, so I'm inclined to buy the gear. I don't think, uh, pretty sure we don't have a buckler. So, for the collection, I'm gonna go buy all of these. I don't know if uh, I need to, need to or should wear them. Have a look at them in a second. And the punching weapon as well. 
Yeah, it's just basically a leather strap with uh, some, uh, some studs in it. Yeah, iron rivets. Endure skill. Issue an anchored stance to brace from an incoming tax. Briefly, briefly boosting poise. Damage taken while using this skill is reduced. Okay, that's kind of cool. We'll play around with that in a bit. Now, I suppose I'm free. I can do whatever takes my fancy. <laughs> can I, mate? No. I mean, I, I guess you can. Now, I can do. Can I? So I wonder if he remains here. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Is that really doing that much for you, buddy? I understand giving him a little kick. We're just, I'm just going to stand here for the rest of eternity and just... Stomp on his dusty head. Um, who, am I, who are we to judge? Um, but... Uh, he, uh, he seems to be the merchant who's selling um, the kind of like the PV and the co-op item so I don't know whether uh, we need to uh, be a uh, you know we'll come back to him later okay that's quite cool strong enough to use that, am I? <laughs> um, kill him. Maybe. Oh, he's, this is the guy at the beginning who betrayed us. I don't know. They all look the same. But, um, you know. We're going to be a good Elden Lord, uh, Ryan. <laughs> I might try it out. I'll, we'll stick with what we've got at the minute for now, Parrot. But I just like to say, I'd rather have those if I even if I never uh, end up using them again but um, we've got a few different options now with um exiles bandits boots yeah, ease of movement masking sound as well um so yeah putting some of our resistances up but obviously all defenses way down if I need to save on load could be an option to switch them out um We shall see. I mean, that's really I want to equip those gauntlets, don't I? Feel. So, uh, get these gauntlets, but then switch out. The bandit's boots. Maybe that, maybe that balances it out. So we've got light feet and head and heavy body and hands. We'll go for it. Okay, right. Okay, we've got a bit of a throne here. I guess this was his throne, wasn't it? Okay, we'll pass, passage that way. Is that the statue of himself before he started grafting himself? Silly man. Okay, passage there. Yeah, not impressed. Okay, um, doesn't seem to be anything here, um, cool, yeah, I was, I'm going there in a minute, bud, 
Um, yeah, and I wonder, uh, yeah, what do you need to, do you just pay t runes to upgrade them? Yeah, again, and if, if that is the case, that's something I would put points towards. Okay, we're going down. Rather than, uh... Even if it's ones I don't really use, just, you know, just have options. Okay. Seems to be heading outside. Hello there. Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? She's gone. Please take my grapes. Oh, yeah, we needed some grapes. I'll take the grapes and then I'll take them to her. Oh, these are your grapes right here. Shabiri grapes. Excellent. I think she's not far away, is she? She's, um... It's, uh... Is this, uh... <coughs> Nightseeker High Air. <coughs> they help you see in the dark, apparently. Okay, cool. Um... I think it's the only way to get up on top of the tower. So I assume, yeah, we're just... We've already been down here. We're just on a ledge above where we'd previously been, I'm guessing. Crystal bud. Oh my god, I'll tell you guys, I could, I could go for some crystal bud. It's been a while. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, it's got to be a crafting material, hasn't it? A young plant crystallized before it could mature. Widely found in Leonia Lake. Okay. And also up here. Um. Could I have... Sorry, could I have just... Uh... Oh... Okay, I'd already been here. So... Oh, hang on. So did I just completely ignore and miss that entrance when I walked through here? But that doesn't make sense. Maybe it was blocked off before. Maybe it didn't exist. I don't know. Yeah, because I've been here, so I don't... I don't know. Um... Okay, got an extra random kid here. All right, hello. It's Bok. Good to see you, Master. How you doing, buddy? Do you uh, remember me? Of course. The Bok, the demi-human. Of course, buddy. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. I did, and you're very Please, happy about it. Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Okay. Commoner's garb. Now, what does that do to it? Okay. Altered. Um. So, for 9,000... Oh, no. Is that the number of runes we've got? Okay. That's just telling you what it becomes. It's... 
surely not exactly 9,200 runes to upgrade that. I don't want to do it. Um, although, it's making it worse. Yeah, it's cutting bits off of it to lower the stats. Master, I was wondering... Yeah, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not doing that. <laughs> do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? No. I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Um... I need to find some better clothes, buddy, for you to work on them. Although, based on that, I don't know if that's any indication, if it's random, he essentially was going to take the commoner's garb, lower the weight of it, that is the benefit, but the drawback is it lowers all the stats on it, so... I don't know if that's... Oh, going so soon? Yeah, sorry, Bok. Please do be safe on your journey. Well, thank you for being cool and being a cool guy, but... I don't know that you really helped Bok me too much. The seamster, at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Oh, Maybe later. Going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Is the lake's your favourite area, cop? Yeah, Do Do Dobby. <laughs> His name's Bok, not Dobby, but I mean, kind of <laughs> a bit of a similar vibe. Um. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't know is it, what's going on there. Maybe it's different for each item anyway. Hello? Is someone there? It is. Hi, I've returned with some grapes for you. Any grapes in your possession to me. I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. There you go. I don't need it. I just found it on the floor. So if it, it's going to make her happy. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That's good. You are most kind indeed. Yeah. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Okay, got a new uh new little uh, post for us. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fi Okay. Maybe we'll bump into her later now I've given her those grapes. Right, okay. So um it seems to be sending us in this direction. Um kind of suggesting that it, we might want to go in this direction um i got uh yeah i got tops uh spells didn't i um okay we need to yeah well let's head back to the uh round table hold yeah look i mean it's not for us to judge ryan <laughs> She's into uh, floor grapes. That's a ghost was like hanging on to. It's not for uh, us to say, is it? All right, let's get the last. We should have enough uh, runes oh, to get the last two spells from this. You bro. appear to be doing well. So need to buy the item to use any of these incantations, oh. but <laughs> we'll worry about it in a second. Like to learn an incantation? Yes. There we go. Your basic heal. And your flame. And there we go. May the golden order shine through you. Thank you. Right. Now is it this way? Oh. Hello. Hello, hello. You again. Thank you for your help. Receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli Lu. We met at Stormvale. Nefeli Lu, you, you saved you. my life. <laughs> I have something for you. I found it in Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should oh, have it. We defeated make him. Good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. I do all the time. Arsenal charm. Okay. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room enters guarding just over there. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Okay. Father is leader of the round table. Oh, her foster I'm sure father. Talking to him will be worth yeah, yeah. No doubt. Anything else? It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior. Should the fates deign it. Yeah, no doubt. And this guy's called Ensher, is he? 
the guy refuses to talk to anyone. Okay, that door's locked at the minute. I thought that was his study. Maybe he's moved elsewhere for a minute. But he, he told us to, uh... It's the, uh... The, the husks. Husk sisters. Right, so, um... The stone sword keys. I don't know if there's, uh... More of those that are needed. Um... We shall see. There we go. Oh, let's buy that. That's a little finger seal. That's our item to use uh, incantations. Let's get that right away. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff here that I uh, didn't get around to getting yet. Some of this has just dropped. Um, the memory stone. Is that a talisman? Or is that... Um, it's like a permanent upgrade. I don't really. I'm not really sure. We'll come back. We'll come back to him in a second. Let's find out what else we can see. Um, <clears throat> oh, Arsenal charm increases max equip load by quite a bit by the looks of it. Almost ten points. Hell yeah. So uh, let's just get that on for the time being. Um, sweet. We'll take that from there. Um, let me uh, equip our little charm as well. And we can set some, uh, some incantations. I know some of them we can use a bit more frequently. Like, uh, at least, uh, sorry, frequent. Uh, there's at least a one can incantation or two that we can use at 10 faith. Um, I wonder if, um, it says in the uh, description there. Uh, a black, lightly beguiling stone, priced by sorcerers who produce them, increases memory slots. So, to be a fragment of the black moon, the one's hung above the eternal city. Okay, cool, but you. you it looks like it's a talisman, right? I just wish it said. Because um, having an extra memory slot is cool. But is it worth it at the sacrifice of a talisman slot? That's the question. I don't know. Those who live in death should be left well yeah, decent alone. upgrade anything else for us all the more should you spy a mariner it's a permanent upgrade is it it's not a talisman you just bosh it oh chisel okay well worth it then cool okay let's let's go back and get that yeah it's three thousand runes that's well worth it i mean honestly any amount of runes is technically worth it so let's get that Do I, uh, do I just have to, do I have to use it? Or is it just a key item? Oh yeah, it just sits there. Oh sweet. Okay, cool. Just, you just have that forever. Nice. Excellent, excellent. I wonder if you can get more of them. Or if that's just like a one-off little, nice little bonus. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. Yeah, I was still looking for her, don't worry, buddy. Yeah, we know. Cool. Don't need something new to say? A pleasure to see you. No. Thank goodness. I'm still looking not easy. I doubt the smith has got anything to say. Let's talk to him now, anyway. Look at you. Those eyes tell a story of a challenger who's felled his mark. Only just a Final little help for my friends. Now lay out your arms. Um, right, yeah, Ash of War duplication. So it looks like you need some special item. Yeah, consumable material. It uh, isn't. Not obvious what it is. 
yeah, additional item required. Something we don't have yet. If you want to make duplicates of those. That's if we want to put them on there. Um, uh, about Rodrigo. Yeah. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. Yeah. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. Does she? I saw another one like her long ago. Hmm. Their eyes share the same hue. Interesting. And yeah, sell some stuff. I'm sure we've got duplicate uh, equipment we can get rid of. I'm sure we have. Yeah, God, look, yeah, look at all these. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, that seems to be everything. There's a few runes, though. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it didn't work on smithing stones. I know, like, cops are going to be like, use them! Use them, you bloody idiot! <laughs> maybe, maybe soon. Right, and I should have two, um, uh, stone, um, stone sword keys now to get through here. So we've got this is the room we got a fancy new crossbow, our best crossbow we've got yet. Now, this one should take both of our stones keys, and there we go. It's surely not going to be a mimic in the uh, <laughs> in the round table hold, is there? Assassin's Prayer Book. Give to a learned cleric to acquire new incantations, eh? Assassins approaching darkness. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if it's the bro upstairs. He, although he seemed to have a bunch of skills, didn't he? So that seems to be everything in here. Okay, cool. Well worth it. Yeah. <laughs> well, rel relatively speaking, you, you Coptimus, being the gent that you are, would never be so impolite. But uh, <laughs> I will. Uh, I will. I will when I feel it's necessary. When I feel stuck. Um, but I, I guess I, of all the beatings we've taken, okay, that's the, uh, that's the lady who wants a, a hug and she'll give us a, a debuff and uh, an item. So I'd rather not have the debuff to start with. But, uh, if the item seems important later. Oh. Okay, this wasn't, this door wasn't open before. Hello. Oh, yeah, this, uh, yeah, we met this, uh, crone. I don't know what name was. I think we've met before, haven't we? You've done the way. Or your twin sister. I am Enya, the finger reader. Oh, yeah. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers oh. tremble. Freaky. To welcome you, Shadbear. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring. Root of the Golden Order. Anchor of all lands. Giver of grace. Wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered. The tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Agreed. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. It's true. But the greater will 
has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished, your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Okay. Seek another of its kind. So the great runes to combine become to become the Elden Ring. Lord and restore the golden order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Not much of a guide. So what? Whose hand is this? It's literally two fingers. I don't <laughs> and this is his throne. I'm going to touch it. Rapture pose. Okay. Um. Oh, sorry. There we go. That's what I want to do. Oh, some rapture. Let's see if uh let's see. Praise the fingers. <laughs> so I guess the f the fingers are friendly, I guess. Okay, they seem to be guiding us. So it seems to be that the Great Rune is a fragment of the Elden Ring. Therefore, the one who possesses all of the fragments, all of the Great Runes, can glue them back together. There you go, you're, you're the Elden Lord because you've got the Elden Ring. Um, so we've just uh, usurped uh, Godric, essentially. So there's obviously other lords out there who um, have their own fragments. And in theory, I'm sure not in game terms, but in theory, in the law, um, they could take that from us, much like we took it from uh, Godric. Well, now, was that a whole hand at some point? I don't know. And who's, whose hand is it? I don't know. It's the hand of God, I guess. Um... Uh, yo, Jess, good evening. How you doing, my dear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Poots. It's, um, it's the will of the maker. It seems like, essentially, the fingers, the greater, the representative of the greater will, wants, wants someone or something to restore the Elden Ring. Well, well, I see. Uh, no, actually, you notice it does anything. Ah, here we go. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. Yep. They are valuable indeed. No doubt. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. Cool. And should you wish to wield that same power well i will lend you the strength of the fingers cool oh, do not recoil from my offer the fingers guide us all and you tarnished you are here to take are you not Right, okay. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, I'm very well. I'm very well, Jess. Uh, thank you, thank you for asking. I'm glad you're doing all right. Yo, yeah, Akuma, how you doing, buddy? Um, right, yeah, yeah, because the blacksmith mentioned her. Yeah, cool, cool, excellent, not there. Um, Legion K, how you doing? Uh, what's the, uh, what's the new mons? Uh, cage. Oof. Uh, how you doing, buddy? 
Yeah, it's only 138. That's nothing, bud. We'll be able to increase up our factor of 10 by the time we finish the game. Oh, right, okay. The children yeah. of the goddess. If, that's, if people Queen want to play Pokemon, Mother, that's nothing wrong with that. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring, tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished, show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Yeah, so the fingers Indeed. want us to kill them. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Graft, it was but a distant relation. Mm. The runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Yeah, he was the warm up, but basically. Ah, the children of oh, I'm going to say the same thing. Okay. The okay. I got it. I got it. Um, right, okay. That's just giving us a little heads up there. Just let you know, you've done the easy part of the game. Now the tough part comes. Right, okay. With the power of remembrance menu, you can draw out the power of remembrance's namesake. Each remembrance can provide one power. Once that power is claimed, remembrance is lost. So you, you claim a power um, from it. Okay. Right, okay. There you go. So, uh, remembrance of uh, uh, Godric... Right, okay. So it looks like you can... Alright, so you can choose one of these two. You can have his axe. My god, look at that. Strength 34, dex 22. We need to even use it. The great axe wielded by Godric the Grafted. This golden battle axe is emblazoned with the figure of a beast representing the strength of Godfrey, a first Elden Lord and patriarch of the Golden Lineage. I command thee kneel, for I am the lord of all that is golden indeed. Oh, and that's the unique skill. Repeatedly smash the axe of Godric into the ground, unleashing two earth-shattering shockwaves. Follow up with an additional input to produce a third shockwave. My god. Yeah, because we can't even use it. <laughs> for like... Crazy amount of levels. Or, we can go for the dragon. Grafted dragon. A, so I'm guessing the cost under it means we have to pay... 2,000 runes as well. Um, so that's... Uh, that requires faith. Uh, a little bit of faith and a little bit of strength. A, you know, decks we already have. The embodiment of the power that still remained in the dragon's head that was grafted to Godric's left arm. Uh, the wielder's arm will take the form of a small dragon spouting sharp dragon fangs at the fist. This weapon cannot be two-handed. Unique skill. Bear witness. Grant the small dragon a fleeting glimpse of life and thrust it skyward, spewing flames over a wide frontal area. Yeah, we saw that. So, yeah, basically, so I guess these are the only place to get these, the axe or the dragon, is with the remembrance. So if you wanted both, you'd have to do New Game Plus. And if you, you know, or like uh, Parrot says, the other option is don't go for either of these and uh, just bosh it just to get your uh your uh extra runes to spend on something else um i'm not inclined to use, go for either of these in a minute i think we'll just hang on to it for now, now go forth. indeed thank you let the words of the fingers guide you um of the game god i mean i don't i don't have to ask ask poots or cop uh, or nightmare, or uh, parrot, or what they how far through they think we are. Um, don't know, don't know is the answer. Cage, I mean, long time. Uh, 
<laughs> we're gonna so we are gonna do this all of next week uh again little heads up to all of our regulars or will not be here a week today on friday and my parents get married so i'm gonna take the day off um but monday to thursday we'll be here then come the end of thursday i'll uh boy i'll decide over the weekend what we will do the week after that i'm inclined to do another full week of the game uh at the moment i we that we're gonna be finished with it by then uh cage so we'll um after that we'll keep it going but we'll drop it down to single stream a week um don't know what day of the week probably fridays but it could be mondays i don't know we'll see further study of incantations is it i can happily spare the time and applaud your enthusiasm thank you um yeah so we'll give him the book that is a work of heresy oh its incantations bear no lineage from the earth tree <sighs> very well i'll take it off your hands i didn't have to buddy i'll find somebody else who is a work of heresy is it oh my god i'm oh, sorry about <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry you feel that way <laughs> um um <laughs> it's heresy because it's not from the earth tree well the earth tree feeds on corpses and is seemingly caused a lot of corruption and foulness within the world as far as i can tell so good on you uh uh bro um yeah about eight percent of the way through uh what thing cage what thing what well, our our thing what the lone wolf i'm i've been ready for that for the past uh six weeks buddy i mean you i'm just waiting on you to let me know when you're good to go <laughs> yeah when you when it, literally cage whenever you're ready there's a bit of a miscommunication on my part there because i've had our producers asking about it uh you yeah cage i mean we can we don't have enough time for today but if we did i could i we can go back we can start on it as, next week if you want your call sir you let me know what is what day uh and time is best for you i just uh wasn't sure with um you know with everything as you've uh, not only going on at your work but um also with your own stream and the many many collaborations that you do yourself yeah lone cage or legion wolf that is the question snake mick which uh which sounds cooler um but yeah no cage entirely up to you buddy um i figure like one per week with obviously the proviso of you needing to take a week off or something um it's probably a good amount it's not like overkill um and i think um thursday any i can do any day thursday seem to be the best based on what the producer who voted for it said um is the best day for them but it's not you know that person if needs be can go and watch the vod um so you let me know cage whatever is best for you buddy i'm ready i'm re i'm always set up i'm good to go whenever you are um sphinx how you doing sphinx are you all right um but yeah put away your groceries we'll see you back in a little bit sphinx um i hope you well but yeah cage anytime buddy you get at me yeah sorry i thought I, I thought not been a miscommunication there but <laughs> it's probably my fault to be fair um I'm going to just buy these, I guess. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, look, look at, so, uh, Incantation of the Two Finger Servants. You want to serve the Assassins of the Round Table Hold. Yes, curious that this guy's like, yes, healing and light and flame is good. Darkness is bad. It's on. You should see what your tree's been up to, mate. Uh, create a veil of darkness that conceals the caster. Uh, this incantation can be cast while in motion or crouching. I was even trying to sneak through an area. The assassins were themselves once tarnished who had strayed from guidance and they pursued their duty in the darkness that is without grace. Uh, or the assassins approach completely silences the footsteps of the caster. Additionally, it reduces fall damage. It can do a bit of more than 16 meters now. And the sound produced by falling. Interesting. Um, I... Yeah, we'll come back and get that. We need a few more runes for that. Golden order shine through you. 
Yeah, I'm not, I didn't mean to upset this guy. We could have found another priest who what, didn't have a problem with it. But Right, okay, so I need to... Uh, we need to get in the study, don't we? Of uh, Homie. Here we go, so his door's open now. Yeah, I guess we have to see the fingers first. Sorry, my... Uh, my controller's having a bit of an issue at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to just walk in a circle for a second. Anyway, that's not what's going on here. All right, bro. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you? We guys? have. We have. Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome as a true member of the round table. Thank you. I am known as Gideon Ofnir. Gideon, pleased as to meet you. Who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord? I am accumulating knowledge to be all knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. Very, very well. All right, so Gideon, uh, you are also trying to become the, the uh, Elden Lord. Fair enough, as as is the pow is the, the destiny of the tarnished. But I've uh, I've got one. Uh, I've got part of. I've already got a great rune. I have you. Doesn't that mean we need to? If we're trying to both trying to do it, we need to fight to the death one day uh, and also does it not mean and you know his plan is ah yes the first thing i need to do to become the elden lord is read all of these books okay bro you you do that we'll um we'll go out and fight um Uh, okay, uh, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you, Cage. I'll double check with the producers and see what day is best for them. Um, but yeah, we can... Uh, but if any day is good for you, I think they said to me Thursday was the better day for them. Uh, and obviously, if you let me know, things change. But uh, one, one a week would be ideal. I mean, and don't feel any pressure if you find it boring or you're not, like, vibing on it. Um... Then I'll, conf you know, I'll put out feelers for somebody else to take over. But um, assuming you do get into it, um, doing one a week would be ideal. Um, and because then it will tie in with the, you know, one uh, one day uh, a week, and then that would place us to be able. To, and if it was say if it was Thursday, we could uh, do uh, continue Elden Ring on fridays and then i've got monday tuesday wednesday to do whatever else we're doing on the stream that would work pretty well uh yeah he's gonna fight us in a pop quiz akuma yeah he's probably gonna win in that regard after more great runes now eh then as your fellow allow me to divulge a little knowledge okay the inheritors of the great runes the shard bearers i'm gonna whip my the ass round table know the location of five of them including the one you defeated okay godric the grafted lord of stormvale tell me the other four general radan who fought melania and her rot to a standstill in the caleb wilds right okay no, that's... Rikard, lord of the volcano manor of mount gelmir don't know what that is Morgoth, the grace given veiled monarch and lord of lame dell and renala queen of the full moon Ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. That's to the north. That's You're the Major's Academy. Rooms, won't you? Okay, so there's at least five. Um, as this is about uh, Nephili, uh, who helped us defeat Godric. Um, I understand you've been speaking to Nepheli. Nepheli. She's my daughter. Yeah. I took her in when she lost the guidance of Grace. She's been a great help to us. Axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes, so I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you, despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. <laughs> Indeed. Um. Okay, so maybe I'm misunderstanding. Maybe the the tar making one of the tarnished become the el gathering the great runes becoming getting the Elden Ring and becoming the Elden Lord. Uh, it doesn't matter who does it. Um, Gideon doesn't care. Nobody cares as long as somebody does it. So it's actually a joint effort. So he's like, you know, doing his research to help us out. And that's why he's like, yeah, um, you know, getting the felly to help you out, do whatever. 
and as we are the first tarnish that's come along in who knows how long uh, and actually got a great rune from one of the lords they're like oh sh oh shizzle this is nib guy he's gonna he's the one he's gonna get it done we should all try and help him out they probably maybe they believe that you know that's just like getting uh you know heart you know a mile up a, you know everest do you know what i mean it's like cool well, congratulations still got to get out the top buddy but um so maybe that's more kind of how it is oh my god cage <laughs> i, I apologize then and i'll apologize to producers yeah sorry cage I, i've been ready to go for at least the past six weeks buddy i just assumed with everything that you had going on i was like yo you let me know when you're good to go cage <laughs> and cage has been like what when's it when's it which freaking is going to go back i mean this no yeah whatever we're doing we can um we can uh get on uh that um anytime bud um but yeah no doesn't matter uh <laughs> um yeah it's the reading helmet yeah <laughs> i hope you can see those books all right red mage um yeah, a little bit. A little. It's got a bit of that vibe, hasn't it? Uh, slick. Um. Okay, let's give his opinion on Godric. So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elven Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Lindgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. Indeed, we've as we defeated him. Okay, so let's ask about the other individuals, Radan. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He Scourge of the Malavia Stars. And her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's east. Right. And now Caled has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. Okay. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Indeed. Okay, so east into Kaelid will, is where the place to find Radan. Um, Praetor Rikard Rikard. is the lord of the Volcano Manor on Mount Volcano Gale. Manor. Mount He's Gelmir. a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Uh, west it of the Erd Tree. It was the of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Oh, jeez. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. What the hell did he do? <laughs> Right, okay. So we know the Erd tree is kind of like directly north of uh, Limgrave. And he said on a plane to the west of that. Um, Yeah, pray to Rikard. Committer of blasphemy. The other, Everyone else is all right, but he's the worst. What? <laughs> what? Um, excellent, Sphinx. How, how you doing, my dear? Are you feeling better today? You, I feel, I got the impression you... So maybe just very tired. We're not feeling the best the past few days. Um, Margot. Tell me about more. more sorry, Morgot. Morgot, the grace given is Lord of Landell. Landell. Lord of the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd tree. The foot of the Erd tree. East of the Altus Plateau. East of but the Plateau. The two fingers forbid us from venturing there. Oh. Until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Oh. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. My God, the Veiled Monarch, Morgot, in the Lord of the Capital City. The Two Finger says we're not allowed to even go there until we have assembled the Elden Ring. Okay, that's uh, that's some end game type of stuff there. Uh, Renala. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyurnia. Renala is queen of the Carian Royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Okay. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. Okay. The great rune dwells within the amber egg, 
That was Radigan's gift to her. Oh. Okay. Um. It sounds like that might be our best bet going after uh, Renala. So she's not a demigod. She's uh, but she does have uh, a piece of. Uh, she does have a great rune. So her husband left her <laughs> to go and hook up with uh, Marika, the uh, the the eternal uh, queen, uh, and left. And as a way of an apology, I guess left her uh, a great rune in an amber egg like you know like you do uh so she might be our next uh target um but yeah thanks for the advice there buddy has he got well, anything else what is it now no okay that's just to give you a little uh clues reminders of where possibly to head okay uh before we head up there there's other things i want to probably look at or try and wrap up first um so first, let's uh, speak to this uh, young lady about her spirit s stuff. It's all a bit much for me, and I'm still looking for my... Uh, tell her what the blacksmith said. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift. I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? Yes, especially if I it's going to help us out. Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Indeed. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, and goodness knows that would be a surprise, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. I guess we have to leave. Okay. So she's going to get on that. And then when we come back. Um, you got the weekend coming up, Low Swing. So uh, that's something, isn't it? Yo, Seven, how you doing? Um, right, okay. So I assume that's going to be to the north, isn't it? So I assume this... This uh, pointer here, that's kind of heading towards uh, Radan. That's, this is uh, Kaled over here. That's the place we got kidnapped by those <laughs> at the start of the game. Um, so I assume if uh, in the entirety of the world map, um, we're kind of at the su southern point because the Erd tree is just kind of like, where you see the marker is like kind of north of that. So... Uh, this got yeah so it, i guess most of the world map is to the north of where we are um so we want to uh get out here and head north in this direction trying to maybe get up to renala and the academy before we do that though um i want to get back down here to the weeping peninsula and finish our explorations around here not necessarily even trying to fight the bosses yet but um we've got a bunch of stuff to look at over here before we even do that, I want to get back into the castle and try and clear out the courtyard and see if there's any items or treasure. And see if we can head, get down here. See if we can head on to this bridge here. Just have a gander. Um, let's do that first. Uh, that coffee has gone right through me, though, so I'm going to step out for a minute, though. Um, uh, Root, bless you. Bless you, I appreciate that. Is it many other things you could have on your big screen route than little old me? But uh, I, I appreciate that. Which Pokemon did you get, route? Which of the two? And how do people decide when you Pokemon fans? Do you look? You carefully study the differences of the two versions, and then pick based on which Pokemon are available. Do you choose on a whim based on the name or the color? Uh, or some people get both, even though they're like I almost identical games. There we go. Root couldn't decide. I just got both. <laughs> well, which one are you playing, Root, first? And how did you decide which one to play first? Um. Uh, oh, the illegal thing, Seven. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You know. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, legally speaking, 
This is true. Yes, indeed. Um, uh, you're getting yours tomorrow. Which one did you get, Sphinx, of the two? You're playing Scarlet first because uh, the legendary for Violet is better. Ah! Bro. Yes. Save, save the best for last. Whatever that may be. Got things to do. Save the best bit to last because you will appreciate it more. Yeah, and end on the high note. Absolutely. Whatever you're doing. Whatever, whatever your uh, set is. Uh, I'm trying to see what's the word. An example set. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, save the best to last. <laughs> uh, generally speaking. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, so we've still got a... I assume it costs runes f to upgrade our spirits. Um, so we'll worry about that later. Um, uh, and we've still got, like, one, uh, random, uh, spirit for us to, uh, spirit. Uh, one random incantation for us to, uh, use. Uh, let's check our spells. Right, so we'll use our glint. Um, so what can we actually use with our pitiful intelligence and faith? Uh, so we've got urgent heal. Heals a small amount of hit points. Um, okay, that one does uh, allies as well. So that could keep you going further. Obviously, you don't really want to use it in combat. Uh, cure poison could be useful. Uh, we've not really had to deal with poison too much, though. And we've got magic d d defense boost and fire defense boost. That could have been useful against Godric, honestly. Um... But never mind. Uh, flame sling. Uh, and uh, momentarily spark flame from it. I should probably try these out, really. Let me try these out for a minute and see, uh, let's see how good they are. So, yeah, let me just stick those in there. Let's give them a go. Let's see what they're like. Um, No, catch flame. Let's go. Okay. Little uh, little blast of flame right in, directly in front of you. Nice. And let's the flame sling. Nice. Proper chunky fireball. Okay. Cool. I like that. Um. I kind of like the fireball more. I feel because um and that's they all they all use the same amount of uh uh well they don't use the same amount of FP, I assume. Wow, catch flame is ten. Flame sling is eleven, I sh Okay, so um I like the flame sling better. Uh and seven FP for our glint stone. Um Let me just equip uh, the Cure Poison for now. I don't feel... I feel we'll be alright with our flask and the Urgent Heal. And as we... I just don't have the faith or the intelligence to use anything else at the moment. Let me just equip that for now. Just because we got the extra slot. Um, poison's pretty uncommon, is it, Cop? Okay. I should bear that under advisement. Um, oh, you got one each. Uh, okay, you're not sure which one you're actually going to be playing. That's cool, though. You play along together. So you like the uh, look of the legendary better uh, route. Are they the were they the the two war elemental warriors? I was looking at at the start of the stream. Yeah, limitations. Hey, look, I'll be more intelligent uh, when I uh, get some more runes. Seven. But look, if you look at the level ups. <laughs> um, I need more strength and dex if I want to use more fancy weapons. I need more endurance if I want to equip heavier armor and weapons i need 
Definitely need more vigor. That's hit points. That's arguably the most important stat. Uh, if I actually want to use our spells more frequently, which we've just got, I need more mind. And then, of course, to even use some of the other spells, we need more intelligence and faith. Arcane. Are we ever going to put any points into that? I don't... I can't, it's hard for me to imagine a situation where I'm going to think, Hey, yeah, let's put some points into Arcane. Now, I know that Arcane does, in fact, uh, it does... Um, it contributes to something else other than... Um, other than just uh, item drop rate. Yeah, holy defense. Uh, for, and your vitality. And it can also affect certain sorceries and incantations as well. Okay, well that's good, but... <sighs> we'll see uh, We'll see how we get on. Um... I did not know... I did not know that was heaven. Uh, I guess I'm not uh, surprised. Right, okay. So it's going to be... So the way it will work, Akuma, is there'll be certain uh, s particular s uh, incantations and sorceries which won't only have a an intelligence or faith prerequisite. They'll also have an arcane prerequisite. Those spells will probably be pretty good. And that's why we'll need to put a few points into Arcane if we would like to use them. Um, uh, the few and far between cop. Yeah, we shall see. Well, I can't even level anything up. I think for now, uh, I, I think strength and dex can just sit as they are for a bit. Um oh. I think we're okay on endurance for now. Really, I want to just put in points into vigor. That's the thing I, I feel we are strongly lacking at the minute. Right, guys, I'm going to... um, But also powerful, yeah. We'll see how it goes, Cobb. I don't know. It's just so much to do in this game. Um, damn. I'm very nice fruit. Okay. Uh, I'll be back in one minute. Uh, we've still got just under two hours of the stream. Um, we're going to uh, try and get some uh, more progress. Uh, yeah. You can't have too much vigor. It's good to be vigorous, Root. One minute. Yeah, this is this is true, Kuma. And all the time we're a poor, wretched, tarnished. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna do whatever. But yeah, I do wonder what. Because we'll have to pick something to like level up and try and put the stats into. 
I like the idea of strength of just having a big chunky massive weapon. Um Also like like the you know the idea of just like not putting any more just put all your stats into like mind and intelligence and just trying to be like a, a mage just dodge around and cast spells. The only problem with mage is of course if you run out of magic then you're like oh okay and I've got to pull out my like little dagger and try and do do stabby stabs. Right, okay, we are um no, I'm, I just, you know, I'm the build of no build. That's me. Always has been. So, for better or worse, we'll, uh, we're going to do... Uh... We're going to do whatever and see what happens. Terribly time dodge there. Okay. Seems like if you follow up, you can, you might be able to uh, stagger that guy a little bit, but I don't know. So we should be okay working backwards from here, trying to take out these guys. I hope. I'm hoping I can take them one at a time. Um, but I know when we get further around, this guy's up on a a bit of a, an area where I um. Don't forget around them. Now this guy, he's gonna call, he's gonna blow his horn, isn't he? This guy up here, that's the problem. As soon as he sees me down here, oh, we can sneak up here. Okay. No, exactly. I know it's, you, you're better to like lean into something, though, cop. I just my OCD doesn't want me to. Um... Uh, if I see a weapon, I just oh, I'd like to. Whether I want I actually use it or not, I just want to have the potential of being able to use it. But whatever, I, th I don't think I should c give it too much thought at the minute. We just need to get more vigor. That's absolutely and definitely what we need at the moment. Oh, he's seen us, but he's not blowing his horn. Thank God. So if I go down there, maybe I can fight him on his own. Oh. Oh, what the? You really gonna? Oh, OK. 
Okay, look. Oh, all right. We're waking them all up. That's fine. Oh, that was lucky. That was unlucky. Or <laughs> just stupid, maybe. Um. <clears throat> Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, cool. That's good to know, cops. So even if I get to a point where I'm like, fuck, I wish I should have done that, it will allow us to do it. Um, yeah, there you go. Your poor choices worked out fine. <laughs> uh, and Nakuma just was like, did it several times. Okay, there you go. At least nothing's lost then. Yeah, well, yeah, Poots. What's my build, though? What's, what's my build? Build of no build. Uh, I think uh, a couple of you said yesterday that you've you slogged your way through this uh, this courtyard and it's kind of pointless. But I, you know, I need to I need to see it for myself. So you'd have to uh, bear with me for a bit. Hopefully, it won't take us the whole stream. But we'll have to. Uh, nice to start making our way uh back to, onto the uh weeping peninsula but we'll see how it goes wow Two thousand we just lost? I think that was two thousand, was it? Oh, tough today. Um Oh, nothing to lose now. Uh many hours, okay. <laughs> we'll see, Cot. I we got an hour and forty five minutes, so I offer no promises. It's only problem having the extra. Ow. Okay. We've, uh... Wait, this any problem having the extra? I don't know. Yeah, sorry, the extra uh, catalyst. Having two catalysts, you've got to scroll through them. kick on you buddy oh 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 oh
Ow! Jumped into his sword. <laughs> I'm not helping myself out by um, using all these heals on this guy, but I don't see that you can't wake that guy up. That's a that's a problem. Oh, we've got an archer back here. It's taking some shots at us. Status death. Oh, it's oh, it's actually a debuff. When your death gauge is full, you instantly die. Uh, yeah, I mean, just getting slapped around is also not good for you. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, we could we could bring some wolves in, couldn't we? Yeah, because it's not like I need to save them for anything, is it? This is true. I just wonder if they, like, stay near you or if they just, like, go off on one. Yeah, good point. Yeah, good call, good call there, cop. Yeah, let's probably actually do that. Worst case scenario is... draw too much attention to us. Okay, let me um get our sneak attack in first. Yeah, it's going to wake up all the pros, isn't it? Wolves. I just got one archer on us. Omen cleaver. Oh, I got his weapon. Okay, it's all out war, seemingly. gonna uh i'm gonna try and just fight that guy and just leave the wolves for now um never mind <laughs> it's worth, it worth the go worth a go um and definitely would help if uh if i did wake them all up but i need to try and stealth this and do them one at a time i feel Let's have a look at this bro's sword, though. I think it's going to be a great sword, right? Yes, there we go. Our first, uh, I don't know, cur uh, yeah, curved. We've got the great sword, the claymore. Could it technically be using. And in fact, with our new uh, talisman, that would actually be a, a medium load. Mm, okay, but... um. The Omen Cleaver. Heavy Blade, the curved sword, of colossal size, awarded to Omen as a tool of war. Is that, is that, is that the guy's name? Uh, this weapon is made to take advantage of brute strength. The pattern etched upon the blade is the remnant of a deterioration. 
deteriorative a malediction indeed when bestowing a weapon preparations uh made must be made for taking it away okay spinning slash faced by dexterous warriors so um you need i need another point of strength to equip that plus it's 11.5 weight it might be freaking cool though I mean, yeah, we could possibly make use of that. I don't know. It's a bit funky. But um, maybe I'll try out the Claymore for a bit. So this is a little bit slower to attack than the... Um, than the... Uh, than the Battle Axe, of course, but... It's got much, it's got more damage per hit, and it's got greater, much greater range on it. How many times do you see me swing with that battle axe and miss? So I wasn't quite close enough. Let me, tr let me try it out for a minute. I'm trying it on big boy here, and the, and the doggo. Not, uh, counter's not working too well against this guy. Okay, there we go. Or oh, it does. As the case may be. Okay, depends. I think dog those dogs are just awkward as all. Why oh, can't they? If we're honest. I'm supposed to feel bad for him at this point. I don't know. Oh! Okay. I feel the, the extra damage output. And presumably it has even more poise damage than... Um than the battle axe also. I seem to be working. Okay, well, well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go to the claymore for a little bit. Um, as we, as we're still uh, with our new uh, talisman, we're, not, we're still uh, under equip load. Definitely one shot these guys <laughs> with a backstab. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. <sighs> Problem is, of course, since I uh, make any amount of noise on these guys, they're all going to uh, come running, aren't they? If not, I've got a backstab properly there. Okay. So I've got that guy in the archer. Okay, and those guys there as well. Let's take a shot, buddy.
not wanted to do, but it's fine. I'm sure. Oh, a pike. Sweet. Okay, we won't worry about that at the moment. Okay. I thought that might happen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm feeling this claymore at the minute. Obviously, I'm still getting to grips with it, but... Um... <clears throat> yeah, it's just a, it's a hidden, uh, a hidden number, I assume, cop, for poise damage. Cool, it's got some magic grease. I assume that's like the fire grease where uh, it will. Uh... Cool, got some golden runes. Um... It will stick a magic damage on your weapon. Which is cool, right. Um... Okay, let's head over this way. If I've been up in this little uh, structure. Pretty sure we have not. Yeah, and generally poise will be related to the heavier the weapon the more poise damage it will do. Uh, it kind of counteract, counteracts the slowness of the attack, doesn't it? So it's like you do lots of real quick attacks uh, that don't really affect them, uh, but allow you to, like, move away quickly, or do you use something real chonk, real slow to attack, but slows you down, but is stunning them as you're hitting them. Um, neither is right or wrong, is it? It's, they're both certainly viable. Um... I don't have a specific preference. I'll just I'll use whatever I find works. Um, yeah, so I guess it's like that, Poots. He just doesn't. You the uh, the the stagger bar is invisible now. I'm. I think we came. To, we've been to this door. Yeah, I remember looking up from this courtyard. But let me just quickly remind myself where this. Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Here we go. We've got, um, stone, uh, the, uh, stone sword key there. I need to remember that. Let me, um, not place a marker. Remove a marker. There we go. Let me, um,. I don't know if it really matters, does it? Uh, use that one. So we'll come back to this later. I don't know how many you need, but I currently don't have any, so... Oh, did these rats kill me as well? I think they might have, so... Probably, yeah, I've not cleared this room, have I?
Yeah. Claymore. Giant rats. Much better than the battle axe. Oh, you forgot to buy Magnum Sphinx. Oh, dear. Magnum regret. Gonna be the worst. Yeah, yeah, I came down here once and the rats murdered us because I'm shit. Um. Fireproof dried liver. I mean, I guess you can't cook it, but <laughs> there we go. So we even need one or two. Okay, all right. Looks ah, okay. So I think that means there's already one in there, right? Because it's got the little sword in its head. So if we get one more, we should be able to get down there. Although, what is down there is anybody's guess. I guess it's going to be worth finding out, isn't it? And in fact, we I technically have enough runes. I could go back and buy one of the keys. We can get back here, but... Doesn't seem to be anything else in this room, does there? Lots of... Uh, pretty old meat. Um, oh yeah, speaking of meat. The liver. Temporarily boosts fire damage negation. Cured animal liver dried out after pickling in a red medicinal solution. Yummy. I'm sure it is. Um, <laughs> it sounds like your liver does it. <laughs> yeah, the range I've noticed as well, Cobb, is uh, not only the range with its thrust attack, but the uh, the sweeping arc. Because the, the battle axe is whoosh, whoosh, cutting like that. The claymore is... Whoosh, big sweeping arc in front you know so um and obviously the improved damage i think uh we might have found a new weapon we're using for a bit guys right, okay let's um remember we might even do this right now just to mark it off um right yeah yeah we've been in this room yesterday so we don't need to go back in here yeah i remember looking through that doorway going uh what do i do <laughs> Hey, friend. Cool. Golden moons. Uh, is there anyone above us? I'm not sure. More golden moons. Nice. Cookery. Let's give it space on these guys. That is fast. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, there we go. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, I, I bet. I, I know with a different way we went round, Cop. Um, there's archers up above. Uh, so I will definitely be uh, backing off if I need to. Uh, and it seems like I, it'd be, I don't... Not only do I not remember exactly how to get to that point, but I imagine it's going to be super awkward to get, uh, get up there. 
from here, so I just don't have to be careful. Nice smithing stones. Nice. Here we go. I see that lad there. Is anyone up there? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I see. It wasn't above us here, was it? Is it just that one guy there? Not that guy. Can I... Can I magic him from here? Not got the range, has it? Whoa! God damn. Yeah, there's another one somewhere. I'm not seeing exactly where. Holy hell. Okay, that's nipped him in the mud. Yeah, that guy there. Is that just an aftermath explosion? Yeah, I want to really want to get... Because if that's where I think it is, there's like loads of those guys up there. And if I use my magic missile, that's gonna uh it's gonna hit his ballista, isn't it? Um Uh they do run just what just run for it, you reckon? Oh. Okay, this guy's wandered up here. I'll come out and play. Might be a bit of sweet relief if we just run for it. Yeah, I can only imagine. Oh, damn. There we go. Get him out of there. Um. Okay, let's go for it. Not like that, though. My God. Oh, I've got 5,000 runes now. I'm trying to dodge that. Um. Whoa! Whoa! Wonder if there's a sh shortcut, like. Like, it links up where the, um... Or maybe not, I don't know. It's a different direction of coming from it with the, with the uh, stone sword key there. If it's worth going back and looking at that direction first. I'd be so upset if I lose these runes. I don't have any heals. I don't know if oh, I can snipe him with the crossbow. My god, red mate, I don't <laughs> The best thing to do is. Um First, let me equip our fire. Uh talisman. I, I wonder if I can snipe the little fucker. Um
Jeez Louise. Yeah, if you can see me, I'll... I... Let's not do that. Okay. Oh, guys, let's answer that question. Let's go to that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to play it safe. I don't want to lose what we've got here. So I'm going to... Um... We'll have to, I'll have to slog my way through those guys again. Uh, but with the Claymore, it seems easier. And the big the big guy at the start is the main issue. I'm going to buy a Stone Sword Key. Um, from the, uh, the Husk ladies. Um... I mean, said, I wonder if I can uh, upgrade. Uh, she's ready to do our upgrades. Do have a talent for, I suppose I should try and ask Math. Yeah, okay, not yet. She doesn't. Four thousands a lot, but uh, they don't only have three for sale. So that, and maybe that maybe in the whole game there is a certain amount of stone sword keys to uh, be used, and there's only a certain amount to find. So I don't feel it's like a waste to um, to buy one. Um, I wonder if any of the other uh, areas have unlocked. Yeah, I guess I don't really want. To... Oh, hello. Nice what you yeah. We meet again after all. All right, buddy. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing. No, not all. I'm quite unable to move, you see. Oh. So, what do you need? Um. Okay, we already learned his abilities. Uh, ask him out. Okay, let's say so we've defeated Godric. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Yes. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Good. Well done, friend. No worries. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. Thank you. Beg pardon? Rogier's rapier plus eight. As you might have guessed, I, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Okay, how random. Um, about D. Let's ah, talk about D. So you've met D. Yeah, what's going on with D his chest? Is, an old friend. is he okay? We found ourselves it's journeying right. together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. Oh. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person. And if they were like you, all the better. Oh, bless you. Okay. Curious. Okay, that was cool. What? He's given us his sword and it's a plus eight sword. What? Standard piercing thrusting sword. A piercing sword of superior quality, fe featuring intricate ornamentation. Signature weapon of the sorcerer, Roger. High dexterity is required to wield the blade to its full potential, but mastery is a sight to behold, characterized by a flowing style which ex excels in successive attacks. Uh, and it's got the glint blade phalanx on it. Um, I mean, I've, I've got the dexterity to use it. Okay, let's just equip it briefly. I mean, it looks cool. Oh, of course you can't attack in uh, in the hold. Okay, in let's uh, finish what I was doing then. Oh, your divinity have mercy and grant me forgiveness. Oh, barrage! Is it not easily failed? I didn't know, bro. One day without fail, you will have your wish. So How's it going there, folks? Sorry, one second.
He's asking for forgiveness. I don't know. Mirage with the raid. I don't know if there's any, uh, if there's any, um, mods around at the minute. I'll get you a shout out in a second, Raj, if there isn't. But yes, let me say hello to everyone. Thank you for the follow there. Pavus Gladius. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. A friend, a friend of Mirage's, a friend of mine. Spory, hello. Camu Lay, how you doing? Uh, Liz Botbot, hello, welcome in. Uh, Huonja Hexed. Huonja? Did I get that right? Um, how you doing there, folks? Welcome in. Um, my name is his name. You can call me Iz. Uh, uh, I'm probably... You may perceive me to be very different to Mirage, but um, I'm, uh, I think... We good friends, Mirage? I've got the best vibes for you, buddy. Uh, that's for sure. I don't think there's a, a mod around at the minute, so let me get you a little shout out here, bro. Let's see what you're up to. Um, how's it going, Raj? Are you well? What's up? I won't do the spiel for all your, uh, your uh, raiders there. But call me is. Oh! You're on Persona 5. Oh, I'm excited to play it. It's on Game Pass now. So I uh, might be getting to it before long. Um, well, excellent, Mirage. I'm always here if you need me. You know that. As long as, you're, as long as you're looking after yourself, buddy. But how's your stream? How's, how's Persona going? Is it your first time playing it? And how far through it are you? Um, but yeah, welcome in, folks. If any, I won't try and sell myself to you, but if you've got any questions about anything, let me know. We're playing Elden Ring at the minute, as you can see. This is our sixth stream of it. Uh, as you can see from our death count, we've died 142 times so far. I'm sure that will increase by a factor of 10 by the time we complete the game. Uh, we're going to be doing this for uh, all of next week, and maybe the week after. And then we'll kind of uh, move on to other things while also keeping the playthrough going. And so we'll drop it down to a single uh, uh, day a week after that. Ah, so you had played it before, Mirage. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I, I've not played it myself, so I have no... Uh, uh, what's the word? Not comprehension. I guess comprehension, but reference i have no reference for it but as long as you, i've heard it's fantastic i've uh i've watched somebody play like half an hour of it so i've got the um the vibe of the game like the and the presentation it's uh superbly stylized isn't it i find um but uh yeah welcome in folks as long as uh, you're doing well and you're enjoying it oh yeah i know that i will what little i've seen of it mirage i know that i absolutely will um But yeah, anybody of my regulars, if you don't know Mirage, who is, bear in mind, our newest VIP of the channel. Um, although, actually, did uh, Root get uh, beat, you, beat you out to that uh, that uh, particular title yesterday? Uh, one of our newest uh, VIPs of the channel, Mirage Omega. Go say hello sometime. Um, no, don't worry about that, Poots. It's, uh, it's all good. Um, yeah, so, uh, any questions, let me know. I, otherwise, I'm just gonna, we've, we've, um, we've kind of beaten the first major boss in, uh, Elden Ring just about, like, an hour or so ago. So we're still kind of, um, reveling in that high. We're not in the depths of despair at the minute, but who knows? We may, uh, visit that again within the next hour. Um, yes, you, Root, I mean, Root, to be fair, you're always shiny, but now you've got proof um so yeah he's praying up let's let's talk to him uh, here is it it is i didn't notice you there no worries buddy i'll be doing my job same as ever yeah you can Just take a break out your arms you can take a break buddy um ask him about what he's praying about those words were not meant for you apologies i may be prisoner to you tarnished lot but my prayers are mine and mine alone. Well, I've had my say. I'll be more careful too. Ah, here we go. Yeah, ask ask him about Rodrigo. The girl. Again. What about her? You have told her what you said. Would you watch over? Are you out of your mind? Uh. Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. She's already agreed. She likes show. I refuse to believe it. Oh, bless I him. I doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. 
Okay, well, we'll go, we'll go speak to her again and tell her to come along and, uh, you know, convince you herself. Bless him. He's, he, I guess he's like, you know, because he's like, oh, I'm so ugly uh, and I'm trapped here and, and nobody likes me. There's no way that young girl wants to hang out with me. She's not trying to marry you, bro. She just wants to, you, you know, <laughs> your, uh, your guidance. Uh, obviously, he's a smith and she's like some kind of like spirit person. But uh, he's got wisdom and experience. She does not. So he can help her out. Um, okay, I don't need to deal with her. Okay, let's go back and speak to her then. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, I suppose I'll ask Yeah, you my... should. You need... Well, go ask him about it now. I do, I suppose I'll ask my... <laughs> go, yeah, go ask... Okay, she doesn't want to. Maybe, maybe next time we return. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if you need to speak to the two fingers again. I swear there's an extra door I could or could not have gone through. Okay, and that's uh, where the uh, boss man is. He needs, he needs a bit of lotion, Red Mage. He does need a little bit. He's a little bit on the crusty side. Um, I guess it's working the forge constantly. Just dried him out a little bit. I wonder if we could jump off there. Or even if that's a good idea. I don't know. Okay, so I don't think there's actually anything to go to. Oh, let me talk to D. Those who live in death okay, he hasn't got anything more. else. He's a friend of Roger's, so that's cool. Um. Ah, well then. Oh, did I have enough to get the, the extra incantation? No, no. I need another thousand to come back for that. Golden order shine. And there's a few items I still need from the husk ladies. Um, okay, let's get back to where we were. It doesn't seem too difficult to deal with that uh, situation. Now we've got our claymore, but let me tr let me play out, uh, try out uh, our little rapier here. Um, oh, dear poots. It's really good. Yeah, I don't know. He's probably just life distracting you. Um, ah, okay. I've heard it's a, a fairly lengthy game. Not uh, necessarily lengthy compared to something like this, but... Whoa! Do those things just... Oh, they're probably... Oh, no, what? let me try this quickly. Oh, we lost one there. Watch this. I bet they are uh, home in. Check that! That's cool. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to reset that. I just wanted to test it out. Whoa, we don't want to... that was crying out loud. Okay, so yeah, his rapier seems cool. A fancy ability there. We're not going to worry about it at the minute. That's more like a, a dodge and, and shank, shank, shank weapon. But yeah, cool. That's very interesting. Interesting weapon. Why he just gave it to us? It's plus eight. Pretty, uh, pretty amazing, all things considered. I mean, his actual stab is arguably uh, not as much uh, uh, damage uh, as... Uh, our claymore, but obviously it's um, a more crit. It's got that uh, deck scaling as well. Yeah, I'm liking our claymore at the minute. Let's stick with that. Yeah, I'm a very excited. N having not played any of the Persona games, and I, I'm, I've been led to believe it doesn't really matter what order you play them in. I'm uh, excited to uh, to get to uh, it at some point. Uh, you beg. Do, what, do I want to jump down there, Akuma? Is, I'm not just going to die. Is there a reason to jump down there? Yeah, and, and all the other games, Poots. You get back to it, don't worry. Um, excellent, Raj. Cool, cool. Excellent, cool, cool. Yeah, because uh, I think I 
maybe have access to some of the earlier ones um, on uh, my retro pie, possibly. Uh, but yeah, I've heard it, do it doesn't matter, and arguably number five is the best. So um, I don't want to give anything away, but uh, it's on my list, and. Uh, It's, uh, it could be coming along sooner than you would think. You see. Yeah, I'll, I feel like I'm just going to die if I jump off there. Or I'm not, I can't actually jump off there, uh, Kuma. Ow. It's like that, is it? Oh, yeah, we've got, uh... Oof. Oof. No! Bruh! Ow! Size on him. that heals though so that's uh, a bit of an issue hey an extra cleaver but i don't think it's actually worth anything is it right okay getting back through here um sorry cookies we've got some cookies have we wait what are you talking about sphinx uh can i you're gonna sling one more way <laughs> um right here we go we are heading up this way yeah it's a bit hard to see at night time i wonder if that plays to our advantage or not I don't see that it hurts necessarily. Nice. There we go. Yo, Scoo! How you doing, Scoo? You well, buddy? How was uh, how was life treating you? All good at the minute, I hope. Well, that didn't work, did it? Clumsy. I think I prefer doing it in the daytime, honestly. Um, more importantly than that uh, is the fact that Ryan is over 9,000. At least. Um, Goddamn, Scoo. That's insane. Well, good on you. <laughs> we'll get some sleep. Scoo doesn't need sleep, though.
Ryan, you have just overtaken the game in Avengers. And you are, bro. And you are. Um, my God. Good on ya. Good on ya. Um, yeah, Scoo. <laughs> hey, look, as long as you feel good, Scoo. I'm, oh, there you go. And it's morning time. Excellent. This will make me feel a bit better. Um, yeah, Scoo. As long as you're well and fine. And you feel good from it. That's all that matters. where my runes are, they're over there somewhere. Uh, what level are we on now? I think we're at 23 boots. Yeah, 23. We've not leveled up to, at all yesterday. We didn't, we're not leveled up today. Hopefully, we'll get some level up soon. I feel like we're overdue and we need to Focus of vigor, I think, is our most important thing we need to focus on right now. Although, every single stat I look at, and I'm like, I want more points in that stat. <sighs> we'll get there eventually. Um... No rush, eh? Okay, yeah, I, I definitely, uh, I feel like I definitely prefer daytime around here. Funny how some of them notice you and some of them just totally don't, even though they're like further back. Okay. That's no good, is it? Okay, here we go. Back up. <clears throat> Thank God for uh, iframes, eh? 
you know, I was a bit salty that uh, Godric was getting them, but we get them all the time, so it's, you know. Gonna do. Be a bitch about it. No. Okay, we've got our runes back. Uh, and he blew his horn, and uh, not really uh, done too much with that. Okay, I should hopefully not be getting hit by fire, so I'm going to switch back to our um, guard counter. Although it's smashing up these lads, so I don't know that we strictly need to do that, but do it anyway we shall. Not this guy, he's just like, what? Did I, did I hear something? Ah, oh, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not sure if there was, a, was there a dude up here. I think there was. And to be fair, we... I don't think he's going to wake up. I think he's alright, I guess. We'll leave him. Um... Oh, yeah, there you go. Cop and Ryan uh, sat there with the same amount of arm muscle as they were flexing. This is true. Uh, anyway, Root, you head out. Take care. Um, no, no. If I if I if it somehow comes to pass, I have access to hookers and blow. I will absolutely wait on you, Root. No, no doubt about that. Um, okay, cool. So let's head down here, deal with the rats, and then we'll check out the door. I wonder if it links up where we were before, but I'm making any assumptions. Let's carefully deal with these rats. I underestimate anything. That's the worst thing to do. Do you know what I mean? They're enemies in this game. It's like... Underestimate them. It's going to be at your own... Uh, the expense of your own life. Oh, wow! That rat dropped a gold rune. I didn't realise they were going to do that. Nice. Okay, cool. Right, so you saw a little uh, key here. We'll see what is down here. Mimics, probably. <laughs> I assume they do exist in Elden Ring. God Slayer Seal? Well, I mean... I could go for that. Now, was that a, a talisman? No. Is it a weapon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a... Uh, God Slayer Seal. It's... um. Sacred seal of the Godskin Apostles, inlaid with obsidian. Uh, said to represent the manipulation of black flame, this catalyst enhances Godslayer incantations. What? Godslayer? Uh, what? Oh, shizzle. You need 27 of faith to use it, though. But my god. Uh, that's going to be amazing if we, uh, rather than our finger seal... I don't know I can even imagine having 27 faith on this character, but we'll see. We'll see. I wouldn't mind slaying a few gods. Are they your favourite, Ryan? Good combination. Without... Well, okay, we'll, we'll all get there, obviously. Uh, <laughs> um, I 
Scoo, you yeah. Which uh, which of the two are you playing, Scoo? Scarlet or Velvet? Uh, Velvet was it? Indic. No, oh, I can't remember the freaking names of it. Um, the God Skin Apostle. Yeah, and we're gonna try and avoid him. I feel. Uh, cop. We shall see though. I've got a lot of break in the chests. In the Dark Souls games, if you damage the chest, uh, smash it apart, you uh, lose the item inside. And there's a prayer book. Um, so I assume we can pass that along, right? Uh, it is the learned cleric. Prayer book bound in supple skin, in contention of the god slaying black flame. Uh, can learn Black Flame on Black Flame Blade. He's not going to like that either, is he? But he's the only, uh... He's the only kind of, uh... He's not the only priest we know. Um... But he's, like... He's not the only tarnished priest we know, but he's the only one that's in the, uh... At the, uh, what you call it, the, um... Round Table Hold, so... We've got a godskin duo coming up, Ryan. Oh my god. Yeah, Violet. It was Violet. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, Root got both of them. The screen is currently playing a Scarlet. Oh, look out for archers. Oh. Hello, let's climb up here first. It feels like we've been here, but we can't have because I would have found the other side of that. Um, although this seems very familiar. Oh, wait, if this goes up to, up beyond the back of the archers, I'm going to be very uh, happy about this. Oh, that seems like a thing to drop down to. That's not a doorway, though, is it? That's just to get back down to the courtyard. There you go. See, archer there. And guys, look in that direction. Let me keep going this way. Enjoying the exploration. My God. Oh, okay. Surely we must have been here, but that doesn't fully make sense that that would be the case. We got two big boys. Yeah, no, we have. This is you got across the little bridge there. Remember this uh, spearman killed us loads yesterday. Did I? Yes, yeah, so we've been down here. Maybe just it had to link up, and I just didn't really notice. Okay. Or. Possibly, uh, the other doorway was also like a fog wall um, from the other side. That would uh, that would make sense. Yeah, so I would have come down here, looked at all this, then probably seen that door, and uh, yeah, I think it was actually. I think it was blocked off. Okay. Yes, because, yeah, yeah, we dro drop down on these motherfuckers. So we need, that's what we need to do now, don't we? Work our way through. Uh, I don't think you can get back up once you're down there, but... So be it. Um, so I think, really, I need to clear out the rest of the, sh the stuff up until that point, and then try and start work to work my way through there. Uh, unless, of course... There are archers even further up that I've, uh, I'm underestimating. I don't know. Sorry, just checking that for a second. We've got 40 minutes. Okay. I know my, uh, play style is very, like, kind of thorough and steady and slow. 
so I'm sure to like maybe a lot of our viewers or a lot of players of this game, they might be like, you know, I get a lot less done in like maybe this, a similar amount of time compared to some people. But um, that's that's uh, that's how I roll. So it is what it is. So it seems to be a bit easier to hit. Oh, not doing that. Not doing that isn't. But uh, you can hit more enemies with the claymore in a single hit attack, potentially. It's got that extra uh, range on it, that extra reach. Okay. Is there any more down there? Okay, there's that little chisel. Right, okay, that's... There's one more guy that wanders up here. So... Okay, I can't look at the map at the moment. So I think that archer, I think I'm drop, basically dropping down here. So there will be archers up behind us, but obviously they remain stationary. I might be able to get a better shot at them though, or maybe not. Um, either way, I feel like death just awaits us around that corner. So, um, not this way. Let me, uh, let me give it a go, dropping down. Um, as long as I'm careful, we should be able to extricate ourselves, but um, I'm not going to go and remove that mark now, can I? There we, we shall see. Sphinx, thank you for hydration. Let me do that first. Thank you, Cop. I appreciate that. Balthier, how are you doing, bro? But yeah, I was uh, how's your day been, buddy? Thank you, Sphinx. Well, it's late. <clears throat> You've had a, a long week at work. And and you've got no magnum to uh you know boost you up. Yeah, I'm sure I, I can only assume that I can't remember from yesterday there's a fog wall here on this side as well. Um so yeah, I'm glad we got through there just for that item and to the shortcut. So I think it will be best for me to head down this way and just start removing these archers. I don't know I, can, I don't know if they can they can swivel. Here's the thing, if they can, so be it. If they can't swivel those uh, ballistas there, then the guy who's giving us grief back up the top there, we can take him from this angle and he won't be able to get us, but let's see. Let's see how we go. Okay, 
targeting someone down there. What you gonna do about that? Fall down there if I needed to. No, okay, I got a little horn blower guy. If I can get rid of him, that'd be uh, pretty helpful. See what he clocked us. No, okay. Shame you can't use the uh, blisters yourself. All right, so what have we got down here? Right, one, one horn blower. Guy over there. Uh, all, all sorts. Yeah, you've been up since four thirty. It's almost your bedtime, young lady. Um. <clears throat> I, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm, um, I've mentioned this on stream before. I don't know if I've mentioned it since you've been here, sister. Uh, my first job, I worked in a library and I had to read stories to little kids. I don't know if you can imagine that. Um, and I wasn't, you know, I didn't enjoy it because it was like the, uh, the, you know, it's quite a lot of pressure. But um, the kids seemed to think I was pretty good at it. Um, particularly like the school kids coming through. Um so yeah i could in theory i would need to find something out i, I can't ad lib a, a good story um but i you know if i found one i could pull something out that's for sure um right now have we got we've got archers over there okay my magic won't reach from here but potentially um i'll get a crossbow going Ryan, thank you for the gift sub, sir. Uh, there you go, Scoo, you got a nose. Um, let's see if I can uh, snipe that guy there. Might wake up his friends, but... Or it might not. I just like knock him back, like give him his damage, and uh, he's uh, headed out now. I don't know. See, it's another reason to get good equip load. You're not constantly equipping and unequipping stuff. You can, you could, in theory, equip everything you need and take it, take it from there, but. Such is life, right? Anyone down there? No, okay, so if I... Drop down here. I can't tell if they're archers or if they're just goons just hanging around. Getting shot out in a minute at least.
Ah, is that some new grace I see there? Is that our, our previous grace we'd found? No. Oh, no. Oh, wait, is that... Go back to the beginning there. Yeah, because this is like the, the gate, isn't it? That's the main gate we couldn't go through. We have definitely not been here before. Now, I don't know... The five gold runes. Okay, ah, right, so this is above... The uh, first area we entered. Right, so before I tag that, let me just take me it out of here. Right, common and simple garb. I, I think we can. I think we'll probably never wear that. But uh. <laughs> do you feel so, uh, C Star? I just had to be very enthusiastic. Um... The Slow Regard of Silent Things uh, by Patrick Rothfuss. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing that's not suitable for kids. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, um, that's the thing. You know, up to producers. Obviously, I'll, I have to be careful. I can't really uh, use anything that's uh, copyrighted. I assume just activating it doesn't reset the area, does it? Because that would freaking suck. No, similarly not. That's good. But there we go. Excellent. More grace there. Oh, here we go. That's going to open up the gate down there, isn't it? We've got two different ways to go into the castle. Not that we really need to, because I don't know why we would ever need to come back here now. But uh, it looks like there's possibly some um, items down here, though. Ballista bolt, yeah, yeah, I'll bet. Golden runes. Golden rune. Oh, that's the grace we already found, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how, yeah, so this is where we first came up here. And we had to head through there because the gate was closed. Okay, cool. So we've got one little section just up here, which may be dangerous to come from this direction, but... Now we're down here, it's... Uh, take a lot to go around the other way um so if they're just uh if they're not archers the blister guys i'm not too worried i should be with my new claymore i should be able to just kind of take it to him a little bit but hopefully i don't want sounding cocky sound like an arm doing <laughs> um yeah that's the way it's that's, that's how i i i uh, do it boots it's kind of like and I play like this in when I'm playing Brutal Doom. Um, like, dissect the area. Literally, you know, feel like you're a surgeon just taking it apart one tiny little bit at a time. Now, some people play with play this game or other Souls games. Just, like, run around like a madman. Just sprinting around, attack this, attack that, jump on that, jump in here, roll here. Right, that's not that's not me. If I, I, if I can take them out one at a time, systematically, I will. Like, here you go. Let's, let's sneak on this guy. Wake his buddies up, probably. Yep, that's fine. And we will uh, roll over here. We'll back up over here. And, uh, oh, and see uh, who wants to come down here. Anyone wants to come? Yeah, now they've lost interest. That's fine. Oh, no, big boy. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, uh, these two lads are coming down here. That's fine. Nice. I'm getting a decent amount of runes here. I could even get like some couple, a couple of levels or something. Get some of that vigor. Now, I do need to be careful because there could be ballistas around. Let's uh, just take it steady. Okay, I see a bro there. But he's uh, he's not on a ballista, is he? He's just got a crossbow. 
Okay, let's uh, sneak across here. I see a big guy at the end there. Cool, so far so good. Right, now where does that link up? Oh no, this is heading towards the bridge, isn't it? Okay, I'll see a fucking giant there though. Or a... Uh, or weird ass tree or something, I don't know, something that I'm not... wanting to be friends with. <laughs> So we can sneak around this guy. Get behind him, do you think? Oh, something woken up over there. No, okay, not thankfully. Okay, feathers, nice. Right, these are where, where that motherfucker's gonna be, but I can't imagine there's too much there, but. Also, I probably shouldn't make assumptions, should I? Okay, I see that bro there. He's just a. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, LF uh, Gimes. How you doing? Welcome in, my friend. Are you a fan of uh, Elden Ring? I assume that's how you found us today. Um, imaginary friend should count for something. Of course, Ryan. Of course. But, uh, welcome in, my friend. Uh, my name is Isney. Call me Is. We are slowly working our way through... Uh, uh, Elden Ring. I'm not good at this game, but that's not stopping us enjoying it. Um, but welcome in, bud. If you, we are, we haven't got too long of left of today's stream. We've only got about 20 minutes, but welcome in for a minute. Um, any questions? Let me know. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let me uh, pull out our crossbow again, and I'll just snipe that guy. If you get more damage for headshots. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's up probably. Oh my god. Oh. Well, only works if you're standing still, doesn't it? Oh dear, I thought I got them. There we go. Okay, not in the groin. <laughs> can I sit here? Uh, of course you can, can LF. Uh, or do you prefer Gimes instead? Let me know what you'd like me to uh, refer to you as, my friend. There we go. Okay, we've got him. Now, um, let me unequip that again for a second. Let's keep my uh, sound down. Ryan! Ryan's on one recently. I appreciate you, Ryan. I, 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 I don't know what you see in me, buddy. I'm not, but I... I don't know. 
I'm original. <laughs> I guess. That, that's true, right? Um, I don't know. That might be the extent of it. Okay, so... So, uh, have you, are you, uh, LF, are you, um, are you very experienced with Elden Ring? Um, there we go. Yeah, you just watch yourself. You just play the game yourself. You <laughs> but yeah, I am, so just to give you a bit of, uh, background, LF, I've, I have played the Dark Souls trilogy, uh, many years ago, a decent amount, not good, but I'm good enough to get through it. I've never played Demon Souls, I've never played Bloodborne, and, uh, we've, this is our sixth stream on Elden Ring very slow going as you can see with our death count i've died a lot um we recently a couple of hours ago today we beat uh, uh godric um, we've done a decent amount of exploring around in the world uh, and we're just slowly you know checking our time with it working our way through it um before uh of, you know no, no no skills just uh fudging our way through it one step at a time um but yeah loving every minute of it it's um it's real. Whoa! Yeah, you are, you little shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, my bloody flask is empty. Fuck. Okay. Being very careful. Okay, so I think it might literally just be him and there's nothing up here. I'm hoping. Oh my god, okay. Call that noise. Um <laughs> I might just run away. Okay, um We've got that new grace over there. And they is that a giant there? Oh so I can't tell. It's maybe, I can't even really tell what that is, honestly. Um yeah, I'll try and drink more flask there. That's gonna help. I thought we got a sword. Is that another one of these big boys? Or is this just like a an enemy? It's like a, almost like a lion dude. Lion dude with a big sword. Um, I might just run away from that guy and uh, just go and spend our runes or something. Let's see if I can sneak around him or something. Okay, so far so good. Oh yeah, LF, yeah, totally. Um Yeah, uh Ryan, he's uh he's a bit of a ledge. Um No, I, you alright, so you you rushed through it a little bit, did you LF, and you feel that you didn't get the maximum amount of enjoyment out of it. No, we like I say, we were six streams in and you know well I could show I could show you on the map. So yeah, we I kind of inadvertently put off going to Godric. I didn't I didn't know what I was doing. So we've explored over here a bit. I've been over this bit away, but not really done too much. We got kidnapped by skeletons and sent over there, like at <laughs> the beginning of the game. I was like, what am I fine? So uh we've I've kind of explored all around here. We found the dragon place there and I've done about half of the uh peninsula. We need to get back on that. Still gotta fight a rune bear, still gotta fight a freaking tree there. Still got to fight a big scary bro down here. <laughs> uh, and we still got to look at all of this over here. Um, so still, we're still essentially early days. Uh, my buddy Cop a minute ago was estimating we've done about 8% of the game. So, <laughs> uh, But yeah, welcome in, LF. Um, pleased to have you. Mm. Just enjoying our time with it. Um, God, yeah, it's some kind of... This is a new enemy. I wonder if he's a one-off. I'm not going to fight him in a minute. I'm freaking scared. I'm just going to sneak in through here. God, look at the size of him. Jeez. Oh, okay. That's some... They're not statues, are they? They're bros. All right. Maybe they are. They're going to wake up, aren't they? Or something. Oh my god. I'm scared.
That's not grace there, is it? Oh my god, thank god for that. Thank god for that. <laughs> um yeah i mean i don't really want to reset that area but like I, i'm not in any fit state to fight anything am i oh is that a bell ringing okay i've got a rest it's not really any option um right i'm sat on all these runes i'm gonna go i'm going back to the uh round table hold and i'm gonna buy some stuff with our runes first um yeah fair enough lf yeah uh yeah 100, 146 that's pretty chunk uh did you have a specific build in mind lf that you um that you uh went for or are you like me and just do a bit of everything and then just fudge your way through it <laughs> oh yeah of course we got that new uh book i wonder if he's gonna be happy about it it's gonna be like oh no this is blasphemy as well you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? Yes, I want to study this one. All right, there you go. That's our silence ability. Take this book. He's like, no, not God skin, not God skin, black flame God skin. That's blasphemy. I've got to risk it though. That is a work of heresy. <laughs> <laughs> its incantations bear no lineage from the earth tree oh jog on earth tree <laughs> very well yeah. i'll take it off your hands notice how he says it's heresy but he's like yeah it's heresy let me have a look <laughs> um so let's see yeah Ooh, expensive the black flame throws a ball of raging black fire so we need 20 faith to use it though um there we go. Throws a ball of raging black fire. Charging enhances the potency and causes the fireball to explode. Black flame is weighty. After dealing damage, it continues to sap foes' hit points for a very short time. It sounds amazing, honestly. Uh, and what's this one? Black flame blade. Need 17 faith. Enhances, enchants the right-handed armament with black flame. You put it up on your weapon. My god. I guess it only lasts for an, um, an amount of time. Um, a black flame incantation of the Godskin Apostles. Engulfs armament held in the right hand with black flame. Can be cast without delay after performing another action. Nice. Um, okay, so it's, not only does it do extra damage, it puts like a little minor debuff on them. Uh, again, I don't have the stats to use these, but I'm being a, a collector. I want all the spells, even if I can't use them. Um, so let's just go ahead and buy that as well. Need to save up 7.5k for the Black Flame. And if, if and when I get to ever use them, cool. They're there, ready and waiting. If not, it's fine. I don't care. Um, uh, yeah, Red Mage, maybe. Uh, oh, OP players will laugh. Well, there's no OP players here Uh lf uh nightmare he's like level 300 plus um he's a bit of a bad man at the game but um we're, we're all massive noobs here we don't, we don't care but um uh, maxed out blood katanas in your right and right hand rivers of blood yeah see uh it calls you a cheater we certainly won't if it's in the game it's not cheating do uh do the elitists feel that that's uh oh no that's cheating well yeah, we're, we're not elitists here, and I've got no time for them. They're just they're just salty because uh, no one comes to visit them in my mum's basement. Uh, <laughs> that's only you know no shame in living in your mum's basement. But it's a yeah, it's a state of mind, isn't it? Um, uh, uh, I am washed. Hello there, uh, Wagwan. Hello. Uh, Welcome in. Um, but yeah, no, it's like if it was in the game and it works and it works for you, how is it cheating? And that's the, that's a, it's a fundamentally flawed argument. It's like, oh, you've found a thing that's uh, in the game that's really good that I didn't think of. Therefore, it's cheating. It's like, fuck off. It's 
get your life. It's like people in fighting games, which I'm not good at fighting games, they're my worst kind of game, who are like, oh no, don't juggle. Juggling the enemy is, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's passe. It's so low brow. How could you do that? Get some skills, get good. It's like, it's in the game. If it's in the game and it tactically works, you should do it. What would Sun Tzu say? He'd say, fuck up your enemy. Use your blood katana. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, a bit languagey today. Um, uh, yeah, well, screw them, F, F, uh, LF. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, you, 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 it's not like you've hacked to the game and rewritten the code. You're not using an actual cheat. You just worked out a mechanic in the game, a certain build, a certain weapon, used in a certain way, is really OP. Good for you. Everybody should be like, oh, I'm going to copy what that LF guy's doing because it's pretty good. Um, you know, it's just, they're just salty. They don't come up with themselves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, C-Star. You know, it, sometimes I pop off a little bit. I'm not about, uh, uh, you know, elitists. Anyone who's like, Video games are about fun, not about being good. If you get your fun from being good, that's great. But don't be putting that on other people. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, they are poops. They are. It's like, oh, you're like, oh, but I'm the best in the world. Yes, but nobody likes you. Oh, I don't care. Well, okay. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. You know, I guess your mum likes you. She's uh, she's letting you live in her basement, isn't she? So that's that's good. It's good to have somewhere to live. <laughs> um, now I've not got any. Uh, should I just jump off here to find out? I want to. I want to die jumping off there, right? I bet we can go down there at some point. There's no point. Yeah, there's no point in so. Um, okay, how long we got? We've only got like ten minutes. Okay, let me. Um, Let's get back to that uh, latest, um, here we go, yeah, this Grace here, and walk across this bridge. Or at least have, uh, the bridge is broken, but have a little look up there. Um. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, 100% piece, 100%. It's like, oh, yeah, you, you know, and it's not for me or you or anybody else to determine what the meaning of life is or what your enjoyment is. But when you're, like, so limited that you've got this very uh specific thing to um define your own self-worth by and then you're demanding other people also acknowledge that it's like that person hasn't looked in that person hasn't looked deeply in the mirror that person hasn't thought philosophically that person is somewhat lacking um and we should feel bad for them, not, you know, not deride them. But we sort of shouldn't take any shit from them. We should send them on their way. Uh, trying to put their bullshit on us. We've got our own bullshit to deal with. We don't need their bullshit as well. Uh, Bolt Drake Talisman. I bet I know what this does. It's going to increase your uh, lightning resist, isn't it? Yeah, cool, cool. Very nice. Talisman depicting a yellow ancient dragon. Boosts lightning damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd Tree protect their lord as a wall of living rock and so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protections including fire and lightning nice um cool glad to have that uh anything else over here probably not i don't like it yeah down look at this the whole presence of this game I always love that in the Dark Souls games. You, like, stand somewhere and look over there, and you're like, oh, yeah, I can go over there. That's, like, a thing. Elden Ring takes that up to the nth degree. It's like you're, you're, you're in it. It's all one big thing. Um, this is slightly ominous, though, I feel. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a ruined bridge, and there's nothing here. Um, let's have a gander. Yeah, well, Stormvale Castle was an excellent area. I mean, we died, like, including the boss. Oh, God, look at this. This is a... Oh, wow, this is a stone giant who's dead. Oh. <gasps> oh! Fuck. Okay, wait. Um, Can I... Oh, we can't pull out our uh, horse either. Uh... 
Oh no, there's two of them. Oh no, there's three of them. Oh fuck my life. I don't <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna fight this guy. Uh on foot. I, I killed Yeah, I killed on the archer ones, didn't I? Oh my days. <sighs> okay, I mean I'd be nervous about dealing with one of those. Dealing with three of them. Mm, there's an archer. So the archer we dealt with on the uh, peninsula was um We, uh, we could ride Torrent, uh, and we kind of just uh, plugged away at his legs a little bit. I'd, I'd have to get some extremely skillful dodgers to uh, poke this guy in the leg. Uh-oh. I don't know how I'm going to dodge that. Okay, um, let me, <laughs> let me pull out my, my map. No, I can't pull out the map at the minute. Let me just reset that. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Uh, <sighs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's really hard, please. You want to get those Elden Ring chicks. They, you know, all the chicks who only get wet for guys who are good at Elden Ring. It's very important. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, sorry about the rant. You could try running past them. You know what, uh, LF? That's probably not a terrible idea. They look kind of... S they're obviously kind of slow. I could, I might be able to run past them. And I've technically got nothing to lose at the minute, have I? It's like there's a dead end, though. I'm not going to be able to get over there. What's the worst that can happen is I'll get an another one... Uh, another death to our 143 we already have. Um... I could, yeah, okay, let's go. Right, let's give it a go then. Let's give it a go. Why not? Got nothing to lose. I was hoping we could get Torrent, but this area is, I guess it's considered inside the castle, so. Let's go for it. God, they're so huge, though. They're attacks. I mean, you even are supposed to kill them. I don't, I don't really know. something down there probably oh there is a warming stone Oof. and absolute death ah oh, buddy um <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, there's obviously more there, isn't there? <laughs> ah, guy! Yeah, there you go. It's on, even on the screenshot there. Oh my god. Um, on the uh, loading screen, screenshot, you know what I'm saying. Um, Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah, for me, 7K is like a lot, but I can't imagine. Maybe yeah, off stream. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time at the weekend to have a go at this, but um, we shall see. Um, yeah, we only lost like some runes. Let me uh, let me try that again. Uh, not getting distracted by the item. We got the item. You know what I mean? We've not lost anything for it. I'm not going for like a record of obviously we're already dead, but uh, <laughs> um, I don't mind, you know, 100 deaths, 1,000 deaths, it's, you know, it's all the same, isn't it? I'm going to get to the end, don't I, really, if at all possible. Uh, that doesn't seem to be a thing. That doesn't seem to be a thing. 
Right, okay, look, there's a thing here. This is what we came here for. Um, travel to another location. Well, yeah, I don't want to stay here, do I? We got we teleporting over there? Yeah, even call it an arrow. It's like a fucking... It's like a bomb going off or something. <laughs> uh, um, no, never, never, never leg a day. Never leg a day. All right, is it... Where's this taking us? Is it, uh... It's taking us directly over there? Someone was nice enough to put some teleporters on this destroyed bridge so you can get across it. Storm Hill. Oh. Oh, interesting. It's taking us all the way across. Yeah, yeah. So we jumped on it there. Skip this bit. Skip this bit. Skip that little bit. Skip all this long bit. Put you right here. Now, I wonder if I should head back that way to have a little look if there's anything on the bridge. Maybe it's just another freaking giant is going to wake up. I've got all sorts of burbs. Um, okay, so I suppose you could come up here if you want to farm bu birds. I'm not going to worry about the minute. Oh, aggro bird. All right. If you insist. Wow. Okay. It's going to kill me, isn't it? <laughs> I just assumed it was a friendly bird. It wasn't a friendly bird. But if I need to farm feathers, this is possibly a good place for us to go oh god we're at the end of the stream um let me just go get back there and look at this i'm intrigued by this um uh <laughs> uh yeah sorry it's hold it's hold your message there uh lf it was that uh uh it was that uh yeah it was, oh, it's aimed at me as a joke, but you will. Well, no, you won't. <laughs> um, you, you will strangle me. No, okay. You probably shouldn't say that as a joke uh, unless you've taken up the time to build the rapport with someone. Um, you... Yeah, no, you won't do shit to me, bro. It's fun. No. Saying I will strangle you, somebody you don't know, it's not... That's not funny, bud. Uh, especially, it's very easy to do over the internet. You know, you wouldn't say that to my face if you're here, would you? All right. Yeah, no, you, you think about these things, bud. You know. Now, if Ryan or Coptimus said that, I'd be like, okay, cool, because I know them. We've known each other about 30 minutes. Right. Uh, so, just... Uh, and then to follow up with that you will. Now, I assume you mean you're a martial artist, uh, LF. Because if you're not, there's no way you'd be able to take me, buddy. You, you know that, right? Surely you've, you've twigged that, right? Now, you're welcome to be here, my friend. And we're all about jokes here. But jokes start with rapport. Now, if you haven't built rapport with me or anybody else here, you should probably not make jokes about violence to myself or anybody else here you understand that right so i'm going to assume buddy that you're um maybe you're a lot younger than me you maybe you're on a younger side of the audience of uh, of twitch viewers right and you don't really understand how to properly behave or conduct yourself that's fine i can help you with that i can uh you know i'm a good guy i'm well versed i've been around the block a few times i'm a bit long in the tooth I can help people, you know, how to uh, behave a little bit. Um, that's one thing you should probably not do. Not joke about inflicting violence on people that you haven't built a rapport with first. So any other questions, you let me know, yeah? Um, uh, you would. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was a joke. 
Uh, bro, you got to check yourself. Now, I know that, uh, Ryan, I'm sorry you've wasted a gift sub on this uh, Joe career, but it's time to get rid of him. Sorry about that, Ryan. I do apologise, bud. I appreciate your gift subs. I was going to get a benefit of it. But yeah, for those of you, he, he basically, his message got uh, uh, blocked there. He said, oh my god, dude, I will strangle you when I died there. Now, I don't know how you guys would interpret that, but... Yeah, you know, like I say, if Coptimus or Ryan or any of you who know me said that, I would be like, okay, that's a bit weird that Cop said that. Uh, you know, it's a weird thing for him to say. Um, you know, but I would, uh, I would kind of, like, I'd accept it. But then he followed up with... But I, I, it was only a joke, but I would, though. It's like, and then he pops off with, oh, yeah, you're a hard man. Yeah, I don't know who, he, who the fuck he was. Yo, Abby, how you doing there? He, he seemed like a good guy. And then he started... So, of, you know, he got frustrated because I, I got killed by a shitty little bird. Okay. You're going to strangle... You're frustrated by that. Well, you, your life is kind of a... Must be a very frustrating experience for you, wasn't it? Yeah, that guy, that, yeah, F, FG Gimes. I'm not even gonna bother looking him up. Fuck him. I don't know if he's a streamer or not. He's, uh, he seemed like a bit of a dick to me. I know you can, like I say, you shouldn't judge, but I'm gonna get, I don't know, because we've got, you know, we've got viewers who are on the younger side, but know how to behave. I doubt that guy is an adult. Let's just put it that way. Um,. So, yeah, I'll do, like I say, I'll just apologise to Ryan, because Ryan was like, oh, this guy seems cool. Let's invite him in. Let's give him a gift sub. I just, thankfully, I still get the money for that, Ryan. But that guy is uh, a little bit of a... He seemed like a bit of a dick to me. Um, but how are you doing, Abby? Are you well? Yeah, I don't know. It's just a weird thing to say, isn't it? I will strangle you. No, you could have said, oh, no, bro, like facepalm. Or, you know, like, you know, Ben's like, oh, not like this. Or the lol guy. Ah, you died, lol. All acceptable. All perfectly acceptable. I will strangle you. Not as in, I, he didn't mean it as in, bro, you're shit, I'm going to fuck you up. He meant it as, uh, I, is that, I, I've, I'm so frustrated I could strangle you. Well, you know, Bart, you know, Homer Simpson with Bart. Um. Yeah, yeah, Poots. He was. He's like, yeah, yeah. And to be fair, he did seem a bit like, oh, yeah. I don't know. But I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. But, you, you know, you, have, you, you are held accountable on Twitch by what you say. Um, you know, I could have invited him on Discord and see if he would step up. But anyway, Abby, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the hydration. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, he did say a uh, lol joke at the end, but, um, poops, but still, it's like, why, <laughs> you know, rapport is everything. If you're a new viewer and you actually want to possibly get invested, whether you are a little bit more on the side of uh, being a bit quiet and just a bit more observant, like I am, or whether you're like fully getting involved in the conversation, and even if you're blowing up the chat and taking it over, that either way is perfectly fine or anything in between but you need to uh you need to know what to say i would never dream of going in anybody's chat whether it's my best friend or someone i would never met before and uh and you know saying any of that shit <laughs> uh yeah, go, yeah, go, go watch. You can go watch himself, but um, I won't even bother mentioning the conflux. You know, you, you guys can decide because it wasn't really a threat of violence. It's just it's like you know, you everyone's welcome here, but everyone has to you know behave appropriately. Now, like if he said, uh, you know, I could die. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I could die. Um. Or even if he was like, yo, dude, you should just give up. <laughs> that is all acceptable to me. I will strangle. Is that what he says to his friends? 
It's like, bro, oh my god, I died finding this bird on Elden Ring. Oh my god, bro, I could, I will strangle you. I will strangle you. I can't believe you did that. Now I'm gonna strangle you. What the f- what, what a weird thing to say. Like I say, I can only assume he's 12 years old. Uh, or at least he has the mentality of a 12 year old. Um. Exa exactly, cop. Exactly. <laughs> um. But, uh. I don't know. Maybe it didn't mean it like that, but, you know, you come in my chat, you, uh, you gotta be respectful. And even if you didn't mean to disrespect, if I get called out for it, you should immediately follow up with, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean that, like that. But to follow up with, um, more, more ego. It's like, no, you need to, you need to jog on some. Um. Yeah, exactly. You could have said that was a bonehead move. I don't criticize what you're doing. Like, if it's like, oh, if it's like, oh, it's like, oh maybe don't use that weapon on that bird. Um, or like, oh, wow, I've never, I've never seen anybody actually die to that bird. That's like the easiest enemy in the game. I can't imagine anyone's ever died to that. Unbelievable. Perfectly acceptable. Um, or even like, yo, it is you're not. You, oh, wow. You said you weren't good at this game, Is You weren't joking, were you? Lol. P perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I, c I, I take that and I encourage it. I will strangle you. What? what? <laughs> I'll strangle your mum, bro. Uh... <laughs> uh... Okay, I don't know how I managed to... Oh, well, I'm targeting the wrong birds here. <laughs> Um, yeah, sorry guys, you have to put up with that shit sometimes. Um, <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough, Ryan. Um, yeah, I don't know, so sorry about it, guys. You're like, oh, is this new viewer? No, it's just some, it's just some stupid little kid. Um, go on, there we go, I've got our pickled, uh, silver foul foot there. Right, any more big burbs? No, lots of little ones. So, I mean, this is probably a good, like I say, this is probably a good spot if I need to, to farm feathers or anything at some point. Um, okay, and we cannot pull out uh, our horse. I was wondering if we could check out those areas there. Okay, there we go. A few feathers. Right, okay. That seems to be what is here on uh, the, this uh, this bridge here. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Yeah, no. Uh, I think uh, uh, pissed myself laughing. Yeah, he found it funny that I was calling him out, basically. Like I say, he had a, he had a, a final opportunity there, C Star, to be uh, to be respectful. And to be uh, apologetic, and and he wasn't. He was like, "Eh, bruh, thank you." That's right. <sighs> um, it did, it did, Ryan. I just feel bad for you, Ryan, because I, I know I've noticed you've been dropping a lot of gift subs recently. Um, you know, because it, you know, I see what you, you know. You're trying to help me out, not just for the um, the monetary gain I get from that, but uh the uh benefit of uh you know a new rando comes in there's a possibility they might stay there's a, a fractional greater possibility they might if they get a warm welcome and more so if they uh have get gifts up or something you know so i do don't don't want you, i don't want you to do that um just for my benefit ryan it's up to you i just uh I'll, you know i'd because i still get the benefit of the money but i'll see um I don't want you to feel like your gift subs are wasted. Anyway, I've made it to the Divine Tower of Limgrave. That's what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, no, thank you, Seastar. I'm not putting up with shit. I've seen people put up with worse. And, you know, he wasn't... It's easier for me when someone's actually been a dick. He wasn't actually been a dick. I was just saying, you know, I, I don't want people talking like that in my chat. 
And rather than him backing down, he was, uh, he's, you know, he decided to double down on his bullshit. Like I say, he's probably 12, or at least mentally 12. Um, what have we got here? Well, this seems all sorts of sus, doesn't it? Um... Yeah, and that's the thing. If you want attention, just go run your own stream. Um, what's going on here, Culp? This is uh, an elevator, isn't it? Am I about to die here? Probably. Okay, that doesn't seem to be a thing. If there's a boss fight up here. Yeah, we are like, we're way over the end of the stream now, guys. So, uh, we'll just have a, a little, uh, goosey gander up here. And, uh, then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, see what's what. We'll wrap up. Oh my God, where are we going? I guess it was quite a large tower, wasn't it? Right, I okay, cast a switch, presumably to bring the elevator back up. If it happens to be down below. Okay. Got some grace. Okay, that's looking off to the east. We're not ex uh, all this stuff I can see here. We've not. Okay, there's the uh, the bloody Erd tree, just directly north from where they are, we are. So it's about there, a bit higher up. Okay. Um, now, if this is like a whole dungeon, we better leave it here for today. Oh, now it's to do with the towers powering up the, uh, oh, it's the fingers here, isn't it? Powering up the piece of the, uh, you know, the, uh, great rune. Restore the power of the great rune. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why we wouldn't. There we go, it's restored. Godric's great rune. Oh, okay, I'm not an achievement out of it. Um... Oh, raises all attributes. The great rune of the shard bearer Godric. Uh, his blessing raises all attributes. Now, hang on. Known as the anchoring, uh, found in the center of the Elden Ring. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, the first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the Golden Lineage. Um, now, is this... I have to use that in conjunction with this thing, the rune arc. Oh wait, grants the blessing of an equipped great rune. Do I need to equip the rune? Presumably not. It's not equipment, is it? Unless it's, uh, no, it's not an um, talisman. Okay, so I guess it's, uh, we have it equipped. Is that right? So if I uh, were to use that, we'd get the benefit of that great rune, which is, of course, raise you, all of your stats slightly. Um, um, ah, okay. oh, it stays f until death. Ah, very nice. So you can actually buy the rune arcs, I believe. They're kind of expensive. Uh, there might there's gonna be two of them. Um, Ah, so you equip one at a time at sight of grace. So uh, there's not, so we don't get any benefit of it without using the rune arc, presumably. So the two fingers, are the two fingers like the old original race of entities? I don't know. Either way, okay. Let me get uh, back down here.
There we go. Okay, with the great room menu, you can equip great runes that have had their power restored. Right, so if each boss we find, we have to find one of these. Well, each great rune we get from a one of the demigods, one of the lords. We need to find one of these towers. Um, so I guess maybe it doesn't. They're not. You can go to any tower for any rune in theory. I don't know. Um, you can use the rune art to give even greater benefits to the equipped great rune. Oh, you can still get some benefit. Let's uh, let's see. Okay, so we've equipped it. If I look at my stats. Yeah, so I don't, know, I don't know what attributes it's raising. And maybe it's not. Maybe you have to use the arc. Maybe that's just uh, something lost in the wording of that. Um, different rooms. For, okay, cool. So you do have to go to the specific ones, uh, Cobb. Um... <laughs> um okay interesting so there's a low chance of uh rats uh dropping them okay cool right so we're wrapped up for today guys we cleared we have finally tamed and cleared out the castle we found the tower we've uh got our first great rune powered up and equipped um we'll be back on monday where we will head back down here to the peninsula and finish uh, exploring this little bit. Not to say we're necessarily going to try and take on the bosses, but we'll, uh, we'll explore the rest of the area uh, and then we'll take it from there. Um, so, uh, let's leave it there for now. I'm glad you enjoyed that, Poots. I certainly did. Um, uh, up until the end there, random, uh, they can just coming in, but, uh, what are you going to do? Um, what are you going to do? Uh, but yes, uh, I mean, Abby dropped a little, um, oh, hang on, let me get rid of that for a second. Abby dropped a little uh, hydration, which I did half did, so let me finish it off properly for you, Abby. No, they're not common, and of course you lose the effect when you die. So it's... You want to make sure you're in a position to make that feel like it's worthwhile. Um, maybe it could be the difference between defeating a boss or not, but... We should see. We shall see. Um, now let me just, uh, just want to check something here. Just want to see that guy is a, a streamer. No, he's not. Not even close. Uh, <laughs> not even close. Sometimes, like, uh, very active uh, viewers get people following them. Perfect case in the point. Sween, before she started streaming. You know, you make, make a name for yourself. People uh, want to encourage you. you. Didn't You know, he's not a single follower, so he's not, you know. Just wanted to check. Because we've had trolls in here who are le legitimate streamers before. Um... Yeah, I'm like that as well, Poots. So I will put off using any consumables. Like, Cop still, like, got his hands thrown up, being like, why haven't you used any of your 40 smithing stones yet? And it's because I might find a better weapon to use them on. Uh, <laughs> we shall see. Um, yeah, it, it's not... Which, I they, they can use that as an excuse to uh, get away in the game. They're like, oh, it's not explained properly. Ah, eh, souls. That's the way it goes. Yeah, you're the same, Poots. I, I'm not against using them, if because my worst uh, fear is use a consumable. You don't get the benefit of it. It feels like it's wasted. Um, I would do it in Final Fantasy games as well. Um, don't use something you don't need to. But then the thing is, you get to the end of the game, you've got like 99 high potions that you just never used, and you're like, ah, could, okay, I guess I could have used those. Um, we'll play it by air, though. Um, Yeah, yeah, exactly, Poos. <laughs> uh, absolutely, exactly. You know, so why have I, why have I got to decide? You got me. You're making me choose. You're making me choose because you, you know, you'd, I'd. It's almost like um, the feeling of uh, 
obviously these are minor um versions in video games to real life situations but the feeling of regret uh can be worse than the feeling of uh wistfulness of missing out uh yeah i don't know and then if you're specifically talking like relationships boots <laughs> i feel like um maybe not the majority but uh, i feel i can definitely relate to that i've literally i've definitely stepped away from opportunities because i've been um worried about uh you know because there's many benefits to being in a relationship but uh maybe my uh exp own experience is skewed uh negatively in this regard but i've uh you know the, the the bad stuff that comes with it is like for me i'd ra i'd rather go that i'd just rather go that it's uh it's what it is um right yeah i'll say cause you can purchase them for runes later cop and uh, yeah and just go after the, uh, the the stone miners and just farm them potentially that's a point i could uh i could uh look into that maybe anyway god we're half an hour let's quickly wrap this up um let me go uh follows that uh, follows uh thank yous a lot to do um here we go so of course platinum rug thank you for the follow bro appreciate it. uh swain uh and gaming avengers thank you for the restumps there uh munch munching on urchins thank you for the follow uh dropped in some little urchin facts in there for us um thank you to coptimus uh, and swain for the bees thank you to ryan for that dono for uh, slapping a uh, godric up i appreciate that uh thank you to uh, mirage for the uh raid and uh pavis uh, gladius for the follow uh and uh, thank you to ryan for five gift subs today ryan bless you sir i appreciate greatly don't need to worry about it but um right up to level five of the stones you might want to be concerned because they're harder to obtain cop yeah we'll take it as it comes we, we may all the time i feel i'm not struggling cop we're making some progress in one direction or another i will just go hoard um but we will hit a wall at some point in the game where you were basically presented with either really tough areas or more likely to be a bunch of really real tough bosses and i have to bite the bullet and pick one of those bosses and we've got to I mean, we've got to do them all we've got to do all the bosses right um and maybe i'm just struggling too much and i'm like okay now it's time to be upgrading some weapons maybe i have a good run on a boss i'm like oh if i only had a bit more damage and then you're like, and you're like well make, make your sword plus 10 you could probably do that by now <laughs> uh and I, oh yeah yeah i can we should take it from there um got to try and level up some as well um no oh, sea star thank you for being here um yeah no ryan has been crazy uh supportive recently as long as he's not like i say he's putting himself out of pocket um i'm sure he's not because he's not an idiot he, he's gonna sort himself out um yeah no exactly exactly even even dying to shitty burbs uh uh, yeah exactly and i will probably with my um pig-headedness and uh what's the word stubborn yeah stubbornness there I'm sorry, I'm sorry. with my stubborn attitude i may make certain sections more difficult for myself cop this is true uh but you know we'll deal with that as we uh as we go along um yo sly how you doing yeah yeah, you're manly banana. Yeah. Uh Ryan is to me what manly banana is to sleight of game. Um I guess. Yeah, and and slight, you just have to be grateful for that these guys have seen something in us that they respect and want to support and want to see thrive and do well on this platform. Um so I'm uh, eternally grateful to Ryan, as I'm sure you are to Manly. Um yeah, well, that's, well, I mean, <laughs> there we go. That we're on. We're currently on six streams in Coptimus. We are currently doing that challenge, aren't we? <laughs> we have not smithed anything, and we have not in increased our vigor at all. Um, that's not planned. 
that's just the challenge we've been doing so far um thank you abby i appreciate that my dear and i appreciate your luck it, uh you know you don't have to do that but anytime you do greatly greatly appreciated um poots i'm glad you're enjoying it if any anything that's gonna uh bring a smile to uh poots cootie is uh is a worthwhile endeavor um no worries no thank you first luck luck and slight i appreciate it and um, and you all, gentlemen always working hard on stuff and you you've got a busy weekend ahead have you good on you good on you slight um but there we go guys yeah the only thing last for us to, last things for us to do is raid uh miss who is around and if someone wants to uh guide us you're more than welcome to do that um uh it's sween's birthday did i miss that i might have missed that um yeah and i mean i've never yeah no she's even got it in her title and i've never uh raided sween so i mean of course yeah we should we should do that definitely anyway um a bunch of other cool people We've got omen of the overlander there playing the new pokemons uh there's kiki uh a bunch of other cool people uh too many to mention but yeah let's yeah let's go raid sween i would choose sween anyway i didn't even i didn't know she was uh yeah, I didn't realise it was her birthday. She didn't mention it. She was in here earlier. Dropping that gift sub. No, that, sorry, that resub. 13 months. Oh my god. Yes. Um, so let's go um let's go see Sween and wish her happy birthday. Uh, guys, thank you all so much for being here and all your support. Um oh my god, I'm on spell. Um And, uh, yeah, even Sween does it. Uh, we suppose. I suppose we will. But, guys, it's been an excellent week. Uh, a bit rocky start on Monday. And it's flown by. I, um, again, I, I know Elden Ring is not to everyone's tastes, uh, all of our regulars. Um, that's fine because we will, in the very near future, be moving on to other things. We spoke to Legion Cage earlier on stream. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting on Cage to get back to me. It's a bit of a miscommunication between the two of us. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, we're doing a, 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 a collaboration project on this channel, uh, very starting very soon. Uh, basically, D and D light, uh, fighting fantasy story. I'm reading a story. Cage is deciding what to do. You guys can be here to influence his decisions if you like. Uh, drawback, of course, if you don't catch the start of the stream, you will miss the start of the story. Uh, Atheline, uh I don't know if she'll definitely be able to be here all streams of that, but. Um, She's familiar with the books, and she said she will catch people up on stream. Um, obviously, because I'm reading a story, I can't necessarily stop to uh, fully engage with chat. But um, the hope is that uh, Cage will keep an eye on chat and um, you know talk to you guys a little bit. Um, anyway, let's go see Swain. Get at me on the weekend. Red Dwarf on Sunday. Message me on Discord if you need me. I'll see you soon, my lovelies. Thank you for the support. 